Hello, hello. We're alive. We're doing things. We are vibing. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, we're meeting with somebody. Ooh. Everything okay? Uh, yeah. Why? What's up? I mean, you just said you might be quiet for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. No, I'm I'm good. I was waking up. Okay. We're here, we're vibing, we're streaming. What do you think, George? Are you gonna be uh gonna be awake tonight or are you gonna be putting your head down early again? Or are you feeling uh, good? Oh I'm I'm feeling great. That's great. That's no. Uh I got some good sleep this afternoon. George all night. That's what we're calling it. That's that's like um, that's the title of the night if the night were like a storybook or something, you know, so George all night. <laughs> Yeah, George can go on that. Okay, let's 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 oh, put a cap sure on. To to let's George, put a cap on the ground. Are you sure, you don't need to go to bed. <laughs> let's let's put a, let's put a cap on really? that. I think I think we can. We we've had enough. Can we've we, hit the quota for the we, day. Can we give George like a job somewhere else that's not here? Is that good? Can we do that. Uh, he wants to do a moon chat run, right? <laughs> sorry, I'm growling in my fucking ear. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. The only person who gets the most sounds in his ear is me. Look, I don't mind the growling. I think it sounds amazing. Just do it like 10 feet away from me so it's not in my ear. All right. Okay, okay. I, got I love how you ignored what I said. Oh, shit. I heard the, the, you, the only person who gets to growl in my... Yes. Yeah, the only person who gets to make noises in your ear is me. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. It sounds it sounds good to me. I like that. Like <laughs> Like that. Yeah, George. See, that's so much better. That's so much better. Like just all the way over there. It's it's perfect. It's not right in my fucking ear. Was, was that scary? Was that like a? Was oh it yeah, like yeah. A, Was it like yeah. a cougar? Yeah. Wow. Pips was shaking. Oh yeah. It was yeah, rage. It was, was so fear. Scared. We have yet to With know. fear. Oh, oh rage. Right. It might have been rage. Yeah. It might have been rage. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Sorry, I gotta keep true? clearing my throat. Was that scary? No, it's been harder to keep August's voice today. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to stand next to him because I know he's well, gonna do I'm it again. I'm not gonna do it. I said I'm not gonna do it. I told you I'm not gonna do it. Please, George, please if don't. you do it, I am <laughs> going to smack you in the next week. Just about to do it when he said that. Fuck, it's so hard. I, I, I think we've hit a quota for today. No, I don't think we have. Would, would you rather me growl or say meat hole? Meat hole. Something, 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 Beaver. Oh my god. I'm gonna stuff your Beaver. Oh my god. Howdy, Maddie. Maddie. This is Maddie. Is this Maddie? Yeah. All yeah, right. how you doing? Good to see you uh, again. I think, uh, I think hell, we you saw you up here. Holy yeah. shit. I, I look a bit different most of them, to be honest. <laughs> Depends how much Law's looking for me, I guess, at the time. Oh, busy week, is it? Oh, busy month. Um... Maddie, this is everyone. We're in front of you is August. Also does not mm. ever look like this. This is just I also Friday. I usually look more like you right now, actually. But uh, uh, <laughs> I'm very, very wanted. The August right. left is Ibs, and behind August is George. <laughs> I right. think I saw you up the other day, right? You were with a group of people that came up here and I didn't even recognize you, to be honest. Ran you over in a bush? Yeah, possibly, maybe. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, sorry yeah. about that. That's all right. How's uh, how's the crossing been treating you? Feeling well? Yeah, yeah, it's been all right. Aside from 
<laughs> Whoever the fuck is rinsing the job boards. And that prick up in Butcher's Creek, obsessed with cats. Who's that? Somebody constantly wanting people to kill cats? It just seems a bit weird to me. It is a bit weird. I'm not a fan of that. No, definitely not. Both of those, really. We should all just group together and lie in wait. Take the prettiest out. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's you, of course. It's definitely not me. I'm not, uh, mm. not going after any cats, that's for sure. Good. How about you? Been all right? Yeah, doing okay. I suffered a wound to my throat recently, but... I, uh, I got my own back, and I'm feeling a lot better. I can talk play again good so oh, um fun. yeah but not as rough as uh, you're having it I guess your friend got lashed up by Abigail not so much slashed up more like made into a human note she carved her initials into his chest as a message to law yeah that's definitely Abigail she red used... dawn rises again apparently she doesn't think she's... Alexi was part of my crew almost a year ago, and he was a close Sounds friend for a gone. while until Abigail got in his ear. Abigail started dating him while, uh, while he was working with me, and she wanted to be dating the boss. That's how she wanted things, so he very much tried to push him to take over the, the gang. When that wasn't happening, they separated and they kind of targeted me a little bit, just because I didn't let them push me out of my mission, you know? It was... Amelia Taylor, that's who this is? I... It was weird, I have it was no, messed she up, sounds familiar, eventually but I have they got no married, idea. they even carved their own initials into each other's who chests. plays her? Fucking wedding. I don't know... They're, have I met one of her characters before? Also, hello. They were so brutal that's people. A fucking thing for them. Yep. Alexi was doing? responsible for killing my ex. Um, something I'd asked him to leave well alone. She did do something against the crew, too. but... He ended up going after her anyway. Even though they were real close. He, uh, he ended up killing her. Shortly after that, they caught him. And they executed him for it. Oh, that's why she sounds so fucking familiar. Abigail's oh, been on her own great. since Jesus. May, June last year. I fucking love Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Weird that you're having issues with Abigail now because she's actually been reaching out to me. As much as I disliked Alexi, he was uh, close to me for a time. And I've never, never even visited his grave. So I asked her to take me there at some point. She telegrammed me today. I know she's around. She's, um... Said she's gonna be around until about Thursday. So, that's all I know at the moment. I don't know where she is, she's up to. Uh, she offered to take me to see Alexis if finally, after a long fucking time of waiting. Your voice sounds so fucking familiar. And then she's uh, heading back to Guam, or not going to lie, Tilted, I'm feeling a little I bit. I guess now. so, if that's where she's heading. She's got a cough. Apparently, the tobacco over there is the only shit that sorts it out. Interesting. Mm. I assume she used the initials AV, <laughs> not A U, or whatever the hell other name she used at one point. Angling just a little yeah, bit. AV. There is one other thing to be aware of. Um, she's used multiple names even since I've known her, but her original name is Abigail Quill. She is Zip Quill's mother. If you know who Zip is. Oh, I don't know Zip, but I know Isaac. I believe she would be Who's Isaac's aunt. Who's the ever seemed to miss her? kind of type of fucked up are we dealing with? Is she gonna come back and... Like, was he... Could he just have been anyone? My mate, or... 
Is she that kind of mental where she'll just ruin people just for shits and giggles? She'll do it for shits and giggles. Could be anyone. Uh, I think if something comes to bite her in the ass after she's done that, maybe she targets the people that spoke about it. I'm not sure. She's a bit uncomfortable. I can imagine that you and your people to get your own back on her, though. Depends. I don't know, that she has a way of snowballing, though. Yeah, maybe. Not really our style, but she did grab somebody who was probably the worst target. Mind me asking who it was she did do? A friend of mine, Mox. He's had a bit of a shit run of it when it comes to people using him like that. I'm sorry to hear it. Yeah, me too. How's he doing after that? Is he healing? Physically, yeah. Mentally scarred, I guess. Yeah. And he's going to be wearing her initials like a fucking necklace for the rest of his life, so I'm not displeased. Did it run across his chest? Yeah. Jesus. Um... <clears throat> She's just going to be randomly picking up innocent people like that. People who just happen to be there because she can't be asked to write a fucking note, then we've got a problem. Yeah. Yeah, she, um... She is known for doing that with her initials. She did it on a, a deputy before. Maybe it was even a sheriff. That's different, though. I get paid yeah. for that shit. You do. There is one thing that she could be actively seeking. Sheriff Cash, who Alexi always had a grudge against him. He uh, is responsible for the death of Alexi's brother. He's retired, but all we know is probably, you know, Still around the crossing, living out life. Alexi never got to get revenge for his birth. The only motive I can see is she wants to get that revenge for him. Or she's... She's looking to go after the law that were responsible for firing Alexi down when he was in the firing line. I, uh, I think they'd really use about five different people to, to shoot. When they execute someone like that. Possibly well, she's pick decided. up a fucking civilian, though. I have no idea. She has weird ways of going about things. You already know that Alexi was the butcher, right? Yeah. Why? He liked to use knives. Went after mostly law, but not always. I had to stop him a few times. He tried to throw something in front of me once. And I wasn't the kind of person that did that shit. Definitely not back then. I mean, I wouldn't do it now, but... Not as nice as I was then, I suppose. Regardless, at the time, I didn't want to see that happen. So, I had to stop. He was, he was a bit of a savage. I don't know what it was that drove him. I, I guess the death of his brother. The hands of law. He, he really wanted cash, and I think he rode with me because the first day I met him, I got him cash. He didn't manage to finish the job, but... He stuck by my side for quite some time, hoping that we'd, we'd maybe get another shot at it. But he never did. So if we end up in a sticky situation with her, 
What do we do? Anything to... I don't want to go asking you for somebody who's a friend or was a friend or whatever the fuck you two are. Well, I don't want to go asking weaknesses, but at least... How do I minimise? I'll be honest with you, Maddie. I'm not so sure that when she takes me to Alexi's grave, whether she's planning on burying me next to him or whether she just wants to let me have a chance to say goodbye to him. I'm pretty certain I'm not a friend. If anything, she might just be trying to lure me out so she can put initials on my body that I'm not sure. I'm not going to give her the chance to do that. There's no way I trust the woman on my own. I'm going to be taking people with me. Yeah, smart. You, uh, do you have Paul that would go with you to that? If you, uh, had a chance to meet with her or anything like that? Yeah, I've got people, but probably not people who'd be useful that no way. Fuck knows at this stage. I tend to roll with the chaos, usually helps if people aren't sure what they're dealing with. I'm pretty certain Abigail's alone. Ever since Alexi disappeared, the small crew they did manage to put together after they left my side, they, uh, they didn't keep for very long. As long as you take someone with you, as long as you're not alone, I think you'll be alright. Abigail won't the risk one against two or more. I imagine your friend Mock picked up when he was on his own. Yeah. Rhodes telegram yeah. office, apparently. She's got balls, I'll give her that. Yeah. What's she look like? I couldn't hit my over very, the head after. Uh, very short hair. I think she's ever grown her hair long again, so uh, almost bold, maybe. She has uh, quite a few scars across her cheeks, if I recall correctly. I remember her always wearing one of those kits with like the fur lining around the collar. I can't quite recall what kind of hat had last time I saw her. Do you remember on. August? <clears throat> she didn't have a hat last time we saw her. Okay. I don't think she had one of those really tight buns that if you wear a hat, it looks like you, you know, you have very short hair. I like those little balls. Yeah. Or it's kind of like they'd have to have your length hair or shorter to make it that small. I can give you a telegram number if you think it would uh, be useful to you. I mean, better to have it and not need it, right? Yep, I agree. Thanks. Well, unless you had anything else you wanted to ask, I can uh, take you down to the Emerald telegrams and, and grab. No, that's perfect. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I, I know we only met briefly. But... I know. It's all good, though. I think, uh, I think I've seen you in passing more often than I realize. I didn't <laughs> remember your hairstyle like that before. Yeah. Yeah, I've been around. Yeah. You probably uh, saw me and didn't even recognize me. I've looked different probably every time you've seen me. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I thought I had a drawing on That's good work, though. For myself, but it's good work. Yeah, kind of, kind of have no choice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have her telegram on hand, actually. Who, Abigail's? Yep. Excellent. There Amazing. you go. Don't Cheers. even need to make the trip. <laughs> uh, let me know when you're ready. Yeah, keep <laughs> it all that top. 
Alright, it's um, Echoes Noise 744. Enormous nose, 744, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Fingers crossed it'll all sort of die down and she'll fuck off back to Guamo, but I just wanted to get as much information as I could just in case. Because if he reacts or he doesn't recover or he. I don't know. Yeah. Can we um, take a ride with Maddie down to Telegrams anyway? I want to see what it is she said to me today, just to be sure. Make sure I'm giving you the correct information. Cheers. She might have said something about to a cabin. I'm not sure what that means. But... Well, yes, there is only one cabin here in the mm -hmm. crossing. No, but I mean, you might not be going back on those or anything. All right. It is, isn't it? It wasn't a singing petition, it was just like a concert of sorts. Mm, that's fair. Okay, so... Abigail told me today that there's going to be a round Valentine awaiting my telegram. But by midday Thursday, I'm going to head to the cabin and won't be checking telegrams for a few days at least. All that really tells me is she's around until Thursday, but I guess she'll be around, uh, she'll be gone for the weekend, wherever the hell she goes. Got it. Yeah, it's helpful. Yeah. Well, any information's good information, right? Yeah. I hope you can... Get your own back, or whatever the hell it is you want to do. Well, like I said, that shit snowballs. Don't want to start a fucking war. Yeah. But if her beef's with law, her beef should be with fucking law. Yeah, she shouldn't be using someone as a canvas to send a message. That's... Barbaric. Never understood it. Yeah. You two can play at that game. Oh, you won't get any problems uh, from me if you do. I'll tell you that. Abigail makes her own problems. She with the consequences. I'm pretty sure she will have hurt enough people to really fill up my body with initials. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not the first time she's done it. Well, you never know, she might change her ways, be rehabilitated, become a model citizen, or just fuck off back to Guama. I can tell you, the first time I met Abigail, we were in Sisica for a long stint together. She was never getting rehabilitated. She might, uh, she might act like she is on occasion, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's never gonna happen for her. If they did go through with it and they got married, I can tell you they used the um, 
a circle of trees with the faces carved in it out near Aurora Basin. Is that the, the lake? Owen No, it's Owen yeah. Owen That's the one. Gila. Yeah. If you want to really kind of manner a bit, that's where they told me they were getting married. Don't know if it's actually where they got married. Could be a well, fun game. Like the kind of person <laughs> to torment somebody, really. I don't know, Maddie. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I hope you have fun with it. I hope I never hear from the bitch again and she vanishes into thin air, but... I, I hope... fancy my chances. I hope that once... Oh, yeah, yeah, we can make it happen. Really? <laughs> really? I mean... How much? We, we did it once before. Um... <laughs> You've done it once before, I've done it many times before I came to the Consum. Good to know. How much? Uh, we're open to offers. <laughs> but it isn't something we would know to. Hello, Mammoth, and thank you for the follow. Money, money. Oh, welcome in. Just in case. Well, you really uh, about us before was looking at the bank robbers. Uh, I invited you along. but. We do, uh, we do get involved in a lot more than just that. Excellent information. Well, fingers crossed I will not require your services, but we'll see. Well, if you Thanks. ever do, just route. Yeah, will do. And cheers. No I really do man. appreciate it. Hope you figured it all out. Good luck to you. <laughs> And you lot as well. Have fun playing dress right. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully not for too much longer. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're both right, hoping you... it's for a while longer. It ain't enough to enjoy. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah clothes, let's hope but I don't want to yeah. come. That's true. And if you're ever in a sticky situation, I can't guarantee I'll be around all the time. But if I can help and I'm around, all yours. I appreciate that, Maddie. Very Is much so. Like you logs? You know, maybe some of the other guys oh, will be around. Oh shit, am I going to get arrested with them thinking I'm you? There's, <laughs> there's no way. No, the oh, hairstyle... Uh, also, hairstyle she's got a twin good. running around right now anyway. So. Yeah. Oh looks, god. She yeah, does. It's, it's really funny. We're actually both wearing matte purple too. Oh shit. Thank you. Yeah. Maddie, you could you probably get away with a lot. <clears throat> oh, I've quite literally sat next to law like this. And they have not noticed, as long as I don't speak, they don't realize it's me. The second I speak, though, it's, they know it's me. August, up to you, but do you mind if you... Oh, shit, hey, Six. Do you mind if we mention <laughs> the whole deal with the, the courier? Oh, yeah, go for it. It's fine. So, August... Sorry, I'm August Green. That's apparently That's someone that may be looking to catch you up at Thank some point. Sure We're on why. wild. I'm not sure who we upset. Except for that one uh, person. I sunset Callista, sure so this is our them. new crim. If you hear of anything about August Green being looked for, do you mind just shooting me a telegram? Yeah, of course. I appreciate it. Just trying August to get to Green. the bottom of it before something bad happens. Who did you piss off? Ah, uh, there's a man who runs the, uh... The yes. saloon right there, actually, in Emerald. Yes, yes. We, uh, we robbed his wife when she refused to sincerely apologize for punching George's horse. When you, first mm -hmm. of all... Yeah. She punched says, my horse because it was unhitched. You yep. emotional fucking terrorist. That's not the fucking horse's problem. No. From the last time I RP well, was we there. chances to apologize. The way you permud, uh, that was even when the I just asked first person in RP itself. Like she gave a shit. She still couldn't that Callista couldn't apology. save as a doctor. What so was it? We robbed. That was the first person who died on her in like her entire career as a doctor. That was it. That's oh. the best she could. I'm so sorry you, that, your that was like terrible. You just you emotional I'm sorry terrorist. That you decided you care about animals, dickhead. But yeah, we robbed her, and it turns out she's the wife or girlfriend of the the fella in Emerald right now, and it's possible it used to be the the guy running here. The, the bounty hunting guild called Redwater. 
Right. He may be just trying some of his old trick, pick up August to get at me because he knows that I'm the one who robbed the gun. She's going to be a lot harder than he thinks it is because A, I'm never alone and B, I'm never out of anybody's sight. Yeah. That's a dick move, though. <laughs> yeah, he's done it to me before. Not, not your fucking problem that a horse I, that just... He really fucks me off kind of pointing guns at his girlfriend, but maybe that's besides yeah. Right. yeah, okay, that yeah, makes we, more sense now. We yeah, did kind of do that. It, you know, it did start because she kicked a fucking horse for no reason. And then not only did she go, oh, you know, it's unhitched, she tries to go, oh, you know, there's charges for unhitched horse. You can get charged for that. And it's like, what? Of yeah, there's all the things charges that for gonna, animal cruelty yeah, and all. That, that was my exact response. That's exactly what we said, yeah. That is exactly my response. <laughs> and it's just... It, of all things, I'm pretty sure an unhitched horse is the least of our concerns for charges. Yeah. Even a horse is, if a horse is oh, let's unhitched, move. So don't fucking man. punch okay. it. Sorry, this, this Sorry go ahead. Can... Didn't mean to bump the telegrams. Yeah, it's a spe special place in hell for people who punch horses. Yeah. It actually happened to me again last night. Or, not last night, this afternoon. Uh, someone fucked up my horse in Blackwater. Have you just got a really objectionable looking horse? Yeah, uh, Isn't Blackjack, Blackjack around here? Yeah. This oh, is the is. All right. Yeah. It's that's pretty. Just a, that's just a horse you want to punch, right? No. Blackjack's no. a very sweet horse. Beautiful horse. Let's keep talking about the horse until halfway weeks back up. I'm pretty. <laughs> oh no! I guess we ought to move when he does, though, eh? No problem. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's having headaches here, so. Blackjack's a nice horse, though. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why people fuck with him. And she's like, oh, I just saw a horse, like, out here, you know? And I, did, I, I thought maybe he was abandoned. And we were all quite literally about 15 feet away from the horse. Just standing. Why is he stabbed? Alright, taking out some residual anger on the local wildlife. Free food. Yeah, there you go. God, those things are weird looking. I got yeah. him a gift. Yeah. A gift. It's the noise they make. It freaks me out. They also have a tendency to fly in front of your horse and let themselves get run over and hit by the horse. Yep. So yep, there like is nothing less satisfying, <laughs> hunt-wise, than a the turkey, turkey that just throws itself at you. Yeah, they have no survival skills. No, Look, what is that it? one's Sense just walking on train tracks. Yeah. Oh, he's been there for a while, too. Because he was earlier and I was wondering. Knocking. I think that's a law turkey. Is it more turkey? turkey? Yeah. Oh, we're talking about oh. how turkeys are fucking stupid. Oh. Why yeah, are they stupid? Because they fly in front of your horse and try and kill themselves, and it's the least satisfying animal you can hunt. Because not only is there no skill involved, but all the meat is covered in hoof. It's just squished. <laughs> Tenderized already. Ground turkey, it's fine. <laughs> ground turkey, what a turkey you find on the fucking ground. <laughs> it's been ground right. up by horses' hooves, it's fine. Mm, delicious roadkill. <laughs> I got you a gift halfway. Aww, look at that. You brought me a turkey? I appreciate it, George. Well, um, we'll take it to, put it, put it on blackjack and we'll take it to the slaughterhouse. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll cook it up later. Hanging up by the pigs. Yeah. One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> They'll make a change, won't it? We've always got paid in the Yeah, I think they're really I don't cool think anybody in the history of ever has been more excited about turkey than pork, but this is the one day. I mean... Yeah, no, I get you. <laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. Turkey's just like shit chicken. It is, isn't it? Do you rather chicken. over the hill? 
I better fuck off and go in there. Make sure Mox is not picking at his scabs or trying to recarve himself. He's determined to turn it into something that is not somebody else's initial. Fair enough. Oh, mm. fuck you. Uh, oh, it's swallowed me. We're good. Oh, does that count over there, too? Oh, One second. Are you gonna put that turkey on your horse? What? <clears throat> Why are we talking about my turkey? Why are you holding? We it? just left I it on just, the floor like yeah, a fucking just animal. Fucking idiot! I could be talking about my meat. Hold on. Okay, let's. George? Let's not right now, George. Let's let's oh. let's <laughs> hold off right now, please. He's just fucking made him fall asleep with that comment. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm smart <laughs> bad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he bored him to death. He's just gone now. Oh, I got two turkeys. I. You will feast well tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Ground turkey. <laughs> 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 I couldn't tell you why it's funny. It's not. But it kind of is. Yeah. Don't understand why, though. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the beauty of most jokes or whatever? Yeah, pretty much. That was great. <clears throat> I don't know why anybody would punch you. You're pretty. Yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't it be brilliant, though, if secretly the horse was in on it all along and I'd actually been goading her? <laughs> oh, and all this I'm shit has gone down because your horse <laughs> is a fucking troublemaker. Yeah, yeah that, that would be an interesting turn of events. Yeah, I'm on to you. The, he, he, likes, troublemaker. He, he likes to fuck with uh, halfway a lot. He does, actually. It's kind of funny. Maybe Who that's it then. Blackjack. The oh, the horse, yeah. All horses fuck with me quite a bit. Yep. Yeah, we figured it out. It's all him. Oh, damn. Blackjack. Yeah, I really well, like Do you remember my theory before how all, <laughs> all law secretly horses? I do. Yep, yep. Good fairy. Yep. Blackjack's actually a. Uh, you know, mole. He's a, no, he's a horse. Right. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Okay. All right. Right. I'm gonna fuck off yeah. before this yeah. descends any further. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. your I, uh... horrendously tenderized me. It was a pleasure oh, yeah, to uh... meet you, Maddie. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Oh yeah, they all kind of heard about this stranger I met and pulled a <laughs> oh. gun on in the slaughterhouse. Then. I was, I was there. The I was doing the job and that, that we invited you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry I couldn't come along. That's all good. One day though, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It'll be a laugh. <laughs> all right. Well, it was Thanks. good to see you again. Anyway, I hope uh, got over for now. Yeah, and you be careful during your meeting with her. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I got plenty of her, so I'll be alright. Yeah. Take some Smart. respect for that. Slaughterhouse. Oh, there we go, we got some cookies on the menu. Brilliant. Brilliant, yeah, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. <laughs> it is. Oh, hell yeah. See, yeah, I love it. wild. It is. Right. Have a good rest of the night. Stay yeah, safe. Shanty. You too. Stay safe. No, you can't make me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't, don't. Then, um, stay dangerous then. Oh, Live don't say that. Then. God damn, I hate that. That was a guy that I used to deal with. Do you think they to... want to talk? Because they've been standing on that hill for a while. Hi, Maddie. Maybe. Yeah, well, these martians for a while. Where are they? Up on the hill. Right there. I don't even see them. Uh, I think they're talking though, the horse fucked off. Oh yeah. Yeah, wild is like night and day in terms of quality of RP. I'm probably just waiting for someone. Hold on, I'm just gonna check something. No, I'm getting nothing back. Uh... Take out the stupid head. May as well go say hello, right? Let's go say hi. Mm. 
Yeah. This is the point there. Alright, alright. Alright, you tear it. Appreciate that. Shit. Something's going on. There's also a ride. There's a ride in the overflow. Have I seen that? Whereabouts? Yeah. Uh, over to our right. Oh, yeah, I see. Um, it's like night and day quality for anywhere else. Like, I, I cannot be on any other server because Wild has ruined any other server for me. It's that girl that was at the telegram. Oh, okay. Uh, I think her name is Lucian. Okay. I kept having headaches over there. Let's uh, head out. Where are we going? Okay. I'm not sure. We need to figure out where we're going next. We uh, still haven't heard from Sunday. Maybe she's not around tonight. Probably. <laughs> Looks like they're in the middle of a job. Are the two of them talking right there? Or are they waiting to like rob somebody or something? Maybe. We could, uh, we could sell, get some to Miller, or we could keep, <laughs> keep hold of it just in case Morgan tries to keep fucking, it. yeah. Probably keep hold of it for now. Yeah, just in case. If our only option comes down to trading the gun to make sure that we get you back safe, and, yeah. Did you hear anything back from this courier guy? Oops. No. Okay. Hmm. That one is my bank. Two. Or CJ. CJ dollars? Oh, CJ wow. dollars. I think it was just how. Let's, uh, see how while we're in the middle of something else. Let's see you leave a bank. Do you think she's meeting me? I don't know. Maybe. But it's weird for CJ to be out here by himself. At least I think that's them. I can't quite tell. Hmm. Sorry, I well, keep getting distracted. Well, I do need to make up some moonshine but. and deliver it somewhere. Let me oh. check. Already made up. It's nah, it's all good. I'll uh Well I wouldn't mind just giving it to you. Wanna... No, no, no. You keep hold of that and do a job with it. Uh I'll just grab some mash off the wagon. We can just do it up here at the uh the Emerald Ranch one. But I've only got to deliver it at back station. So Um but yeah, I hope uh be here back soon. You said you a few days ago. Yeah, so it'll probably be like Another two or three weeks um, before you hear back. But it'll be cool. It'll be neat.
It's like four or five days the last time I applied on your back. Denied the time. Yeah. So denials come quick, but like approvals take two or three weeks. Uh, I think anywhere from like one week to three. There, we're just waiting on some things. There's my job. Wallaby's doing something. Seems like the middle job, yeah. I mean, could be. I don't know what job, unless they're- The only thing I think of is, if, like, they're there for a job, they're kidnapping somebody. Which is why I suggest we leave CJ alone. Maybe uh, they're gonna grab her or something. Cause I've never seen CJ out here, and I've never seen him by herself. That would make sense if they like did something or baited her or something to grab her. Um, but yeah, no, I'm- I'm happy on Wild. It's like night and day here. I keep having headaches and I hate it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it, it's- it's not yeah, too it's bad. Really... I can wake myself back up quick, but it's and still it's irritating. Oh, that is a lot of horses. <laughs> it's all in them. Yeah, oh, okay, good. Oh, oh, that's shit. We're no. going. Turn oh. around, turn around, turn around. Let's go. Someone point a gun at Wallaby? Looks like, uh... Looks like it's handled. Not our business. Oh. Let's, uh, just head out, because I don't want to be on the outskirts and just no. off. No, of course. Yep. I think they got it covered. I think they're fine. Let's not risk pissing them off. Let's keep an eye on it. It's Wallaby and everyone. If uh, something goes bad, we can get them out of there. What? It's Law on DG. Um, sure. Um, do you want to get my horse? There's an extra horse if we need to grab them. Yeah, good idea. I'll let you be the one to grab them then. Yep. Okay. It was only free, but someone else just wrote up. I think we're good. I think Let's we're go. good. They got Laurel numbers now. Ow. Wakes back up, we're leaving on land. They're looking at us. <laughs> well, our dead end is. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, which one? Sorry. I said law. <laughs> I believe at least. If you don't look like us, then hopefully, uh... Yeah. Should have left when essentially. Maybe stuck around to be nosy and now he's ahead of that way. I... I totally agree and we should have left when we realized something was going on, but... Because now they're coming this way. Leave casually because that's long. They've been knocking on us. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. I don't know who is slowly. law because I don't know where you're Lost. looking, but I don't see Lost anyone. On the tracks to our left, yeah, because they all just split. <clears throat> We're oh, okay. Casually. Just, just go. They're heading away. Let's just go, 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 go. Get us yeah, away from here. To the uh, speakeasy. So I can make this shine. Sorry guys, Emerald Ranch hates me. I keep having he headaches over there. Headaches everywhere, have you? Yeah, I know. It's it's always typically fine out and about majority of the time, but if I'm in any one location for too long, like a town or even Emerald apparently, it gets bad. On the mesh for the uh Winter Johnny. Yeah, that's what I went to the wagons for. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Arrow. Red Rock was... Oh, shit, I'm passing it. Yeah, it doesn't run the Can you hold a couple things for me? Yep. I can hold three things. I'm gonna grab some stuff real quick. That's all I need you to hold. Just those. Oh. Thank you. Thanks, Red Rock was a standard for me for quite a while and still is honestly. I hope this at least will match that. Uh. I'm gonna be honest. Wild far surpasses anything on Red Rock. Wild far surpasses anything on Red Rock. Um, I sunset Callista because Red Rock ruined Callista for me. Um, but uh, Callista's daughter is on Wild. Uh, this is my new Crim August. So it, it's it's significantly, significantly better than anything I have ever experienced. And I've been doing RP for years. So it's uh, definitely... You have another headache? But it, no, he's inside. Oh. August rule breaker green. What? She's broken! Okay, she breaks a lot of rules, but listen, 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 Tilton. Tilton? Technically, technically, Hathaway broke the rule first. Not her. He's the one who initiated it, okay? He's- and, and, you know, they're the leaders, so the rule doesn't count for them. You know? Rule doesn't count for them. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is Sam wanted them to break that rule from the minute they met. Okay. So don't don't give me that. Don't give me that. I just got lovers. But that was what? my card. Oh. I drew a card and it was the lovers. 
Oh, 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 the lovings. <laughs> yeah, because I'm so in love. With you. With me, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love Tibbs. I hope we get Tibbs in the bond. I need to head to Bacchus. <laughs> Do you have a free spot in your saddlebags? George, send your horse away. Um, in my saddlebags? Yeah. Just for when we pick up the nitro. Mm. I do now. Excellent. Okay. You gonna ride to Bacchus? Yeah, I'll ride to Bacchus. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, you told me about Sam's little, little thing going on. Um, I think Tibbs is... I wouldn't say she's August's best friend, but she's the closest thing August has to a best friend. Uh, Sam is too, though. Sam is also, I think, the closest thing August has to a best friend. Horse went turn. That was odd. It's good to hear for sure. Sorry to hear about Red Rock doing that to Chris as well. Lost his charm after his death and how can kill the room. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I think Red Rock's been dead for a while, especially considering a bunch of staff uh, got whitelisted on Wild and were playing on Wild. Because uh, I've seen Rohane. Um, I don't know who he's playing on Wild, but I've seen Rohane, I think, once or twice popped onto Wild and played on Wild. Um, because he, he would like post in general chat or something about uh, some of like the item descriptions and shit. So I don't know if he joined Wild to... I did, you saw that cool fucking spin move I just did, right? Jesus. Um, so I don't know if he joined just to like get ideas for Red Rock or if he- <gasps> Oh! <clears throat> Darling, I don't have a rope. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I have no oh. idea what you just said. You say? I said, darling, I don't have a rope. I can't pull you off the edge. Yes, I called you darling. <clears throat> what would you prefer, sweetheart? The one I'm used to, but I think you called everyone sweetheart, so it doesn't feel very special. I've been calling you darling every once in a while. I don't have a hope. You darling, every once in a while. All right, then, love. <laughs> yeah, that's that's okay. That's, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it's very British. Feels very British. So we'll just hit him with the slash me blushes. Okay, I'm gonna need you to not in your horse riding it or moving it anywhere near me. I'm not moving. Drop this off. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're safe. Ah, oh, menace, follow at a distance. Distance, More nitro. Now where? Um, to put this nitro on your wagon. We go do it in Valentine? <laughs> um, probably Valentine is not the best idea. I mean, the wagon stop should be all right, shouldn't it? If we just go around the back, hit the wagons, and then head out of town. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we should. That should be fine, actually. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. 
I can't this way, the Valentine's, I'm sure of it. Right. <clears throat> Howdy, hi, honey. Yeah, see, it just it doesn't sound right at all. I can't really do the hi, honey. I can call him honey, but I can't say hi. It's gonna be howdy, honey. No, hello, honey. Yeah, the honey doesn't work unless it's at the end of a sentence. I can't use it as a greeting with this voice. You know, it's a little bit harder. It's it's this voice has a certain <clears throat> I don't know, like timber to it. You right that? Day how day. You okay? You gotta oh, speak up, sweetie. All right, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, you're real quiet. Just been some oregano. Oh, yeah, all right. Sorry. Enjoy your uh, oregano just picking. Oh, you're wandering in the bushes just before we check. Yeah, no problem, strangers. Thanks for your concern. All right, no problem, buddy. Have a good one. I guess we'll go fuck ourselves. Yeah, it, it's 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 difficult. I can't do it with her voice. Not at the beginning, I can't use it as a greeting. It's I guess be... when we get close to the skin, can I shout Saints Cross and Sheriffs to come? Yes. Saints Cross and Sheriffs Department. Saints Cross and Sheriffs Department. Saints Cross and Sheriffs Department. We're kidding. Don't worry about it. You're good. That man also ignored us. I guess we'll go fuck ourselves. That's because that man was a lope riding his wagon really fast. I've never seen uh, a local ride that wagon uh, that fast. Uh, around the back, around the back, around the back. I know, I know. We're Maybe going around the back. Too close to the of the no, Maybe oh, we're, we're going this way. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's definitely law at the sheriff's office. A shit ton of people over in the stables, too. I'll get my horse. I'll bring it over to the wagon. I am ready and I am not moving. They have been. It's been kind of alarming. So, Mammoth, for context, so it just happened is we just got a stick of nitroglycerin, and it's extremely volatile, where if you get jostled or you run or anything happens, you get kicked by your horse, you blow up, like blow fucking sky high, which is why it was such like a hot potato type transaction we had to do there, where it immediately went into my saddlebags. Um, because in saddlebags it's fine, it's safe, but if it's in your pockets you can blow up. Like this, if I had it in my pockets right now, I'd blow up. So. Yeah. Can we take ch ch blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, um, check Should we check telegrams? I'm not being waved down. Yeah, but I didn't check when we came into town if he was waving or not. So I'll have a quick Let's look. No, nothing. No Julio. Uh, it's already pretty late. My god, I didn't realize it was that late. For 
I'm upset. We had some like insane letters right before we started stream. Like we had some telegrams. Um, they were like pretty we wild. Mm -hmm. That one's good to me. Um, and do we want to check the board? See if we can find more nitro. Andy. Uh -huh. May as well start with Cumberland though, so we may as well go the other way out of Valentine. Mm. Okay. All right. Sure. Circle back round round the back of the stable so we don't go too close to more. Uh, yeah, so we got some like some shine there. really interesting telegrams. Do it. Stuff that was kind of alarming. I do have one big job that I might need some support. Oh yeah. All right, yeah, you got me for a while. Yeah, okay. it's it's Thanks. yeah, so it's it's terrifying. Um. It's even scarier because we'll have dynamite day where we'll make multiple sticks of dynamite for our bank jobs and I fucking hate dynamite day because A it takes forever and B because the last time we had dynamite day I almost blew up because my head jumped on top of a box and I'm surprised I didn't blow up in that moment but we had to play past the nitro for me to get down safely. I was thinking we could go run the bank Um, okay, yeah, yeah sounds good. We can do that. No, it's, 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 uh, it's scary. And dynamite's also a pain in the fucking ass to make. It takes, like, two hours to make it because of all the shit you need. If we find the job, I'll take the job because they typically give you about an hour to get it sorted mm -hmm. and get the drop made, so, um, we don't need to rush too much. Oh, it sounds good. So, uh, uh, my wagon see... only has packages in it. You want to use my wagon? Excellent, yeah. I'll just need to grab all the bonds off of one of my wagons. Um, the only thing is I still have my coal bag in there, but that should be fine. Yeah, we won't be doing five minutes anyway. I think at most we'll have enough for like, four. Like about, yeah, basically. That's that's exactly what it was. It was fucking... I mean, like, I didn't explode or anything, but it was terrifying because we got close to exploding. Eh. No, I don't want that bond jump. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's worth the money. The money's fine. It still works out at like 29 per sheet. But the problem with that job is uh, it's free stops at 15 bonds, which means I'm going to have an odd five bonds left over near the end. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd rather find the 20 or 10 uh, drop. Yeah, so it's there's it's like a 16 step process to make that might, which Should is great. Should we go back towards check Emerald? Emerald? We didn't check Emerald for the bond jobs. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm sorry. You're all good. My face was in a map. No, I did not notice we did. Yeah, it, it's... It's right. it's a time. It's right. it's cool that it's like, it's that intricate. The road's somewhere around here. Uh, but it's also a pain in the ass. I'm gonna go turn my heat on real quick, though. I'll be right back, because it is snowing. So it's going to be relatively probably low activity, us trying to... Why is George being so lazy tonight and making Tibbs ride him everywhere? I mean, I don't think he's making Tibbs ride him everywhere. I think he's riding on the back of Tibbs' his horse. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's being lazy. Yeah, I, I like that it has more steps. Um, it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> I hate Dynamite Day. It's just, it's so involved. There's so much. 
it, it's it's there's just so much involved. It's great. It just <sighs> rest of the horse for a we minute. We make a lot at once. I don't know why I'm riding yeah. so fast. The rare snowfall. We don't snowfall. normally ride around very fast anymore. Yeah, we're always trying to yeah. <laughs> keep Save the horses, horses good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's rare it's just snowfall force of habit. from my state. Normally, if I'm uh, if I'm focused on going to a certain place, I ride fast. Hi. Yeah. It's the snow's not not going to stick. It's probably going to melt before the sun rises so it's only like 30 degrees um but i do know there's a big snowstorm in jersey right now because the old school district i used to work at i still get the like emergency alert texts uh and calls and stuff and i got a text saying that school's closed tomorrow so i know jersey's getting a, a big storm I think maybe Sundays like have stayed for a bit. I don't recall seeing her over like the last three or four days. So maybe two days ago, I think, passed by. Her. But yeah, maybe she was out. Of oh, didn't she say she was gonna be out of state for a few days? Maybe. Or was it somebody else? Oh, I don't remember. What's the coffee I do? There you guys. I'm so eepy sleepy. Off an old character concept I had for a while. He's a person who thinks that it's fake last name can call from. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Love that. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat so much. Um, wow. Eh. I guess, uh, check mine. If anyone needs to go do anything or meet with anyone, we, we can go do that. I haven't gotten any drones back yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very, uh, curious about what this courier boy has to say. Howdy. Still nothing. People are on right now. Over a hundred people are on right now, so something is going on somewhere. Uh, just none of our friends are around. It's 107 people on right now. So. I don't know. August is, I mean, she doesn't look like it right now because 
we're dressed differently because we're very fucking wanted right now. Um, like if I were to get caught at the moment, I'd be gone for probably about a week or more. Uh, OOC time. Um, last time we were caught, I was supposed to be gone for two weeks, but I got out after a week on parole. Um, <clears throat> so we're dressed differently than usual uh, because it makes it harder for law to immediately spot, especially considering earlier we had that group of law just right by us. Um, but yeah, normally she's in like darker colors and like black, usually black and green. Um, yeah, August is a lot darker and grittier than Callista was. Callista was a character that was, obviously, you know, there's a chance she could have permanent at some point, but the goal for her was always the sunset. Because I wanted a happy ending for her, I wanted, you know, marriage, family, stuff like that. Um, August is not a sunset character. Hello, bit. Thank you for the drive-by. Have a good night. I appreciate you stopping by. You were lovely. Hi. Um, August is not a sunset character. She is 100% a perma character. However, she's only existed for about two and a half months. So it's going to be another two, two and a half before she even can enter perma conditions. Um, because I want her around for a while. Uh, Callista was around for over a year. So, August hopefully will be too. Um, but yeah, it, she doesn't look like it right now. But she is a lot, a lot fucking grittier than Callista was. It's. Callista is a fucking saint compared to August. So. August is, in fact, an emotional. Well, um, that was that was normal. Um, yep, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, perfectly, perfectly normal. Yep. Uh, um. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm that was that was fine. Bye. Yeah, that was that was normal. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 What the fuck yep. just yep. happened? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Uh There we go, that's the job I want, right? That's the one we're doing. I have already taken it. Oh, okay. What job? Six hundred dollars for twenty bonds, free Ooh. stops. Ooh. Uh I need to get rid of all the bonds I pissed off a dead end the other day. The nice thing is, I can take that flyer, and they give me about an hour to make this delivery. So, uh, not some crazy rush. I have to get there immediately. But our first stop is Limpany. Limp, Limp Dick, Eve's Landing, and uh, Quakers Cove. That's well, the places. Why don't we landing for something? <laughs> yeah. So, why, don't, uh, why don't we start with Thieves, go Quakers, and then go Limpany? That oh, that sounds good. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Tips. What I, did you oh, say? I need to. I need to go to the bank, but I need to drop something off at Thieves. So if the. Okay. So you need a bank and then straight to Thieves. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I don't care good. what bank. I just need a bank real quick. Let's do it. Uh, we can go to roads. So we'll there. be careful. We'll go up around, like kind of towards the Someone camp, out and then. In the swamp. Mm. We might wait for you up by the camp and go. Uh, that's town a cougar behind us. <laughs> that's a cougar behind us. That's chasing that local. Cougar or a panther? Yeah. Okay. If it's on the local, we're fine. But... Uh, yep. Yeah. I, I see. I was just thinking. Wow. There's somebody out in the swamp, and then I heard the cougar. So they're bait hunting out in the fucking swamp. No. No. There's no. a panther that's around there. Yeah. No, I've never seen it. That's the. Uh, mm. That's the panther I saved Olya from when I first met um. Olya. Probably not. Uh, well, no one, no one ever, no one ever expects the cougar around there. Well, not our problem. I uh, found. Uh, what was it that we found? 
what do they call it? The Shadow of Lemoyne. That's who it is. That's what it is right there. Because it's normally a black panther, not a cougar. What did you say about the king? I was telling you that you gotta get off town, like oh. the horse. I saw the no Jefferson. Yeah, August is an emotional terrorist character. <sighs> Shay said he would be around today. No, I heard anything. Right now, it's a So I'm going to die at some point. I mean, he gave him black lung. His entire character's representation of loss. Eli, however, is covered by a broken drifter. It's the opposite. He has a family, wife, child that he's one named a reverend as well. Both into the same events in the background. Spoke to. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Callista was a crim. Um. Prior to Red Rock, she was a lot worse before Red Rock. Red Rock, because of the rules, I had to water her down a whole lot, which is why I say, like, Red Rock just ruined Callista for me. Um, Callista's perma count was in the double digits. She- she perma I think, like, 11 people. Um, 11 characters. So Callista was super fucked. <laughs> oh. How long has my team speak not been working? Um, Callista was super fucked. She was a psychopath. She was very fucked up. She went through a lot of shit. Um, she was very good at torturing people. Uh, but... Oh my gosh! Uh, Sissic did. Oh, how do you... I'm so sorry. I did not yeah, mean to No, you're fine. I tried to say hi, but everyone was kind of talking, so. I'm sorry. That's all right. Um, so she was still very much like a oh, killer. She was, she was a killer. She was a fucking psychopath. She executed people. Yep. That good, huh? Yep. Yep. But. Are you still a medic? Yes. Hey, uh, are you able to update some of my paperwork? Uh, sure. Uh, if, uh, if it's not yes, too much or an inconvenience. I, I, I mean, if you have time, anyway. Uh, no, I've just been on a, a leave of absence. Uh, I've, I've been out of state for quite a while. Um, my brother oh, died. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. So oh, I haven't shit. worked in a while. Uh, yeah, yes, I, I, yes. If, if you want to come up into the camp, I can certainly, uh, store of your file and amend some things. 
Okay. Do you if want to do that now? Time. Yeah, it's up to you if you have the time. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm just waiting for TJ because I was hoping he'd be okay. awake today and I would surprise him. Oh, okay. Okay. Dibs. Um. Sorry. 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 I'm just gonna heal myself. Uh, yeah, Callista was very much like a crim crim. She was a killer. She was a fucking torturer. She was a psychopath. Uh, August is just grittier. She's not like she's nice, but she's fake nice. She's very fucking manipulative. She's everybody's scared of her. Uh, most of the gang is afraid of her. Oh my! At least from what they've said. <laughs> that man looks drunk. Oh, okay. Um, I'm so sorry to put this on you. I, you know. That's alright. We were trying to hunt down Fletcher for like weeks, but we've just not been able to catch up with him. We've always uh, missed <laughs> each other. Telegram tag. Oh, uh, there's a lot of August. Uh, yeah, August. August. Oh, that's Lady uh, yeah, uh, August that's Green lady. with an E at the end. This is Sam, isn't it? This is yeah. Oh, Big Brother right here. Oh, there you I'm are. The August. <gasps> August, would you like to meet the love of my life? It's not me. No, remember I told <laughs> you, I said, damn it, I'm in a very long-term committed oh, relationship oh. with a man. Uh, okay, I, I thought oh, you were you the man? <laughs> yes. No, I, I, apparently I am indeed the imaginary friend that Sam <laughs> has created over the years. Okay, uh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. You stole the woman. I'm my pleasure. Person. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I, you know, I found her first. Literally after she nearly drowned. He, he did, yeah. That's how we met. Are you wearing Valentine's Day outfits right now? <laughs> yeah! Uh, hi, we are. It's cute. Thank you. I can feel, I the like, the, the grimace in your voice well. when you said that. It's <laughs> like no, a little it's, eye twitch. It's, it's, listen, all I'm gonna say is I don't normally wear light colors and pastels. I'm usually in all black and dark colors. Mm-hmm, that's what okay, I think I do. That's the point. That's the point. I'm very Are wanted right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm very oh, wanted right now. Oh, he did not say that right in front of me, that is for oh. sure. Oh, right. Uh, Bonnie uh, definitely did. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, wanted. Yeah. I'm wanted by Sam Actually, because Bonnie. Sam wants me. Yep, wanted yeah, because she wants you. Yeah, God. Right, Sam uh, wants also, me. Bonnie, right. you now have a, you knew how a new title, by the way. You are now uh, Bonnie the Brutal, by the way. Oh. Uh, okay, he said, because I got a mean right hook. And also words. I mean, also, yeah. Fuck, I forgot she was a okay. medic. Oh, all right, let me look. August, why did you want me to, to, to uh, um, The tattoo on my forearm. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, also, yeah, Bonbon. It's just tattooed on my left forearm. The trap has been set. TJ should be maybe coming here if he is awake. Please give him my love. Apologize for tricking him, but we wanted the surprise. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I definitely see that there. That is all right. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, we got a skadoodle. See you, Bon Bon. Love you guys. I love you too. Thank you, Mike. Bye, so, yeah, I need to go to a medic to get a permanent condition set. I uh, like her tattoo. Uh, <clears throat> wait, the, uh, all right. And now, and now your paper right here. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, Mr. Hathaway, you wanted to amend your next again? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so you can have four non-permanent conditions at a time. Uh, and to make one permanent, you need to go to a medic. Oh, uh, there's a lot of Williams here. Just give me a moment. And so she just approved my... She has a tat... August has a tattoo. Why do you think I don't go by Williams? On her arm. Um, uh, so yeah, I just got it approved to be permanent. Uh, okay, so currently I have on here is, uh, uh, I'll just go with last names, Cotter, Dunn, and Miller, but there's no, uh, telegrams there for any of them. Oh, um, uh, well, I, will, I need to remove Cotter, the first one. Gotcha, yep. And add all the screen. 
awkward. Hathaway just took his dead uh, ex-girlfriend off his next of kin and added his current girlfriend. A Y three six eight. eight. Perfect. All right. So you've got Miss Dunn, or actually it's Mrs. Dunn now, uh, Mr. Miller and Miss Green here. Callista, um, Callista was yeah, very can mild. Can I give you their telegrams? Of course. Uh, so um, phase is N506. Callista was extremely mild. I had Wait, to what were the letters, sorry? so much. LN. Lucky number. 506. Mr. Miller's is BI. Four one nine, I think. V for Bob or V for Victor. Oh, I didn't quite catch that. Let me think about it. I might, I might know. Um, fuck, I have on a post-it note. Everyone on a post-it note. Somewhere. <clears throat> um, I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> Fuck. Where is it? Where is it? I don't remember Hathaway. Do you... Which one is he? Uh, I think he's had a... Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so give me a second. I will... I will see if I can remember it at the moment. I have it written down somewhere. Where is it? Um... I definitely wrote it down. Uh, I have a fuck ton of post-it notes in front of me right now. So give me two seconds here to sort this. So is that? Okay, graph. Minions. I wrote Miller down. I literally just saw it. Um, Bonnie, I think we've met before, right? Didn't you uh, go card collecting with us one day? Yeah, yeah, we went around the crossing. Oh, I, I, I do remember you, I just I didn't recognize you no, and Hathaway that um, do yeah, apologize we just, for we that. Just look very different at the moment. That's fair enough. All oh, right, yours is um, <clears throat> your telegram. Unless it's a different Bonnie, it's M M one ten, or is that a different Bonnie? Nope, that's me, Medic okay. McGuire one ten. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's asking for clarification on the letters in Miller's telegram. Uh, <laughs> B for Bob or V for Victor. B, I four one nine. I think right. Bob. So Bob, ow. Alright, done. Uh, that's being amended on your file. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, he yeah, had another headache. Oh dear. Oh, poor sod. Hopefully he feels soon. Uh, I, I don't believe uh, I've, I've, I've met you. Uh, how do you say? Oh, uh, that's George. Yep. Howdy, Jerry. I, I'm Bonnie McGuire. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm uh, George McFinnigan. Howdy. Sorry if I'm not talking. I, I, yeah, letting y'all do your thing. Yeah, I asked him earlier. That's quite alright. I totally understand. I do that too. Hey. Also, hmm. Sam. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Possibly Telegrams is my guess. Look what we finally got done! Our permanent condition for the tattoo! Uh, probably telegrams, I'm assuming. Um... As soon as Hathaway wakes up, hopefully he runs out of the camp, because apparently the camp does not like him right now. Might be the fire. Oh gosh. Oh, um, here. Uh... The first I appearance. apologize, Bonnie. Uh, I'm having, that's quite all right. It's, it's, I'm having some problems up here. It's. I'm uh, sorry. I got it all on your paperwork, so it's all good. Thank you so much. I get it. You're very welcome. I'm gonna try and get out of this camp on my 
right, let's go. Yeah, that does. Right. Fair Head. enough. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I finally got her tattoo right, permanently you. set. We've only been trying to do this for like fucking a week, two weeks. <laughs> Have a nice day. It was nice to meet you. Who oh. I found. <laughs> wow, good morning. Where are you going, Bonnie? Don't do it, Bonnie. Where are you going? No, no, you, I mean, look. look hey, Bonnie, before you do that, though, because um, that guy's waving at me, uh, you should probably go pick up that real shiny penny I left over there. Oh, yeah, Oh, uh, yeah, Bonnie, wait till he wakes up, too, please. Because <clears throat> I accidentally said I was wanted in front of her. And I don't have money to commission any artwork. And she's required by law. She needs to tell law. Um, and I accidentally said I was wanted in front of her. Because <clears throat> I forgot. She should just... It'd be so easy to not say a thing. Yeah, but she's required, so let's do her due diligence. But I guess that's why mind is different. Yeah, I do not have the money to commission any artwork, unfortunately. I, my dude, I barely have money to pay bills right now. What a stupid law. Mm. Mm. Alright, come on, let's go hop on the horse. Over here, sweetheart, hop on the horse. I'm in the, I'm going to the back of you. Get me out of here! Alright, let's just go. We'll check telegrams this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, still, I really shouldn't have picked the job. Oh, fuck. I completely forgot yeah. about the job. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Yeah. yeah, I live on my own and I do freelance, and that is not making me enough money right now. Um. Okay, here's fine. Here's fine. We're far enough out of town. We'll catch up with whoever. Was that Julio that joined yeah, us? Yeah, yeah Tim's found Julio. Julio, did you telegram me? Yeah, that was me. Okay, it was you. All right. My God, my fucking head. Oh, am I going to ride? Yeah, it, it's, it's like right now. How much time do you have? None. I had a headache. So you can't do it anymore. They take them away. Yep. I really Thanks. shouldn't have picked up the job. I should have got this to pick it up because of my bad fucking head right now. Mm. It's fine. We'll find it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Tibbs, did you have to go to Thieves anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Let's you need to head there now. Um, uh, whenever. Yeah, let's head that way anyway. We may as well fun. check. Uh, We'll head to Riggs first. We'll go to Riggs Station. Doesn't help I was up at five in the morning. What? I said it doesn't help I was up at five in the fucking morning. It doesn't help what? Me. Oh. Why uh, I slept so long. Okay. Oh, did okay. you just... Okay. okay. You mean no, you, you just weren't just sitting around the, the slaughterhouse or something? You, you've actually been sleeping all day? Yeah, I've been actually been sleeping all day. Oh, damn. Jesus, I've been sleeping at 5 in the morning. Say he went to bed at like 6 in the morning, right? It's 9 p.m. Eastern, did he? It's a long time to sleep. I'm glad I fixed my sleep schedule.
August, can you ride us for a minute? Really need to do something in my head. Thank you. Come on. And then we're going to these. <clears throat> we're we're going to take the tracks straight to rigs. Okay, um, can we actually, can we go to that camp above Riggs just for a couple of minutes? Yeah, that's fine. I, I really need to do something. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to have to take a, a real quick nap, that's all. Insomnia is a son of a bitch. Um, I luck out with both chronic fatigue and insomnia. It's wonderful. Where I won't sleep, won't be able to fall asleep, and then I will sleep for 20 hours. It's a great time. sit here for a few minutes. I won't be a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy. We finally, finally got my fucking permanent condition done. Apparently... Someone we're looking for logged on at least an hour ago. So they're streaming right now. Interesting. Yeah, it's hopefully he fucking talks to Blue on it. But his issue. This is it's terrible.
I'm never sleeping at that fucking speakeasy again. <clears throat> Why is that? <clears throat> it's too loud. Louder than normal, and they were waking up in the middle of the night, and I ended up going back to Rhodes. Put my head down there. Yep, then I ended up sleeping like a rock. As long as you got some sleep. <clears throat> Way too much, August. Way too much sleep. It's okay. You probably needed it. He fucked himself the day he stayed up for like 26 hours. That's really fucking. Oh. I'm so easy sleepy. Why is George so quiet? Oh yeah. Hell. What's that? I don't know. Surprised you're quiet. I could change that. Nah, I don't know. Oh, so you got a different cult. Uh, me? Yeah, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've had this out for a little bit. I just never wear a coat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sunday's around. Oh, amazing. Um, uh, where did the telegram from? Uh, she sent a telegram from Sandy Nay. <clears throat> we want to have her meet in Thieves Hall. Ask if Thieves is okay, um, but we're going to head there and then we'll ride out and check telegrams after if uh, if she has some ideas for book. I was just asking Tibbs if she needed to go to Fuse for. Delivering bonds. He's a criminal. Oh, I am a dirty, filthy criminal. You know, the one thing about me is I've never claimed to be anything different. Yeah, you're a filthy criminal. Even when Laura asks you. Even if law asks you, they say, I never deny. Pibs, are you an upstanding citizen? And you're just like, no, I'm a filthy criminal. With quite the past. All right, then. I kinda Maybe did not that. like that. <laughs> I kind of did that with the phrase. Whenever uh, I woke up and they asked me what I did for work, I was like, I robbed banks. <laughs> I wonder what the phrase told you then. They, they told me they liked how I was honest. 
I said that to fucking Rami one day. He's like, I'm glad he actually gave me an answer because I would have shot you. Right. Why, why the, why would he have, okay. That's just, uh, yeah, that just sounds like Rami. Yes. It sounds exactly like him. We spoke about Rami the other day because we bumped into him in Thieves. The guy just seems like he's never interested in like pleasantries with anyone. He seems like he wants to be the biggest asshole no matter what. It's, it's so weird. I don't you know, understand how that guy that. ever makes friends. It, it, it's interesting because I know like the Pavi, for example, have quite the the thing with Rami in them. Yeah. But in every altercation I've had with that man. He's actually been rather, like, pleasant to me. I think it's just the way he talked. He always seems like he's pissed off. Like, really, really hey, pissed off. <clears throat> the only I mean, time he doesn't he seem like... me, he at least hacked my wounds. I would say the only time he doesn't seem like he's pissed off is when he's telling me how much I remind him of Josie. No, even then. Sounded pissed off. <laughs> oh, to me, he didn't sound pissed off. To me, he just sounded like... Just more of that. I swear to God, if I close my eyes, it was like it's her talking. That one sounded more sad than pissed off, but yeah, maybe yeah, he was <laughs> close to her at the end, at least. doing it this time. I'm not chasing a bison for you. Fine. You don't love me, I get it. Wow. Fella, go ahead. So dangerous. I think it is. Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? How are you, Beatrice? Hello. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Oh, I didn't know you came down here. This is wonderful. Yeah, we do. What's up? Good to see you soon. At um, with my friends. Froggy, yeah. so I assume you can see it. Yes, yes. And it was Jank. Is that Jank? <laughs> Looks like it was oh, Yusuf. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How are we doing? That's um. I'm sorry, are we is... interrupting? You need yeah, no, 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 but I do want your guys' opinion. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Can you Froggy. tell my friend here, Sonny? That these pants do make his shirt look stupid. I, I, it's just my opinion. I think about so. whether the pants oh. look a sh make a shirt look stupid. Take I off think the they vest, do. <clears throat> honest opinion. I'm, I'm not very good at fashion, way. so I um, really can't. Okay, okay really so can't without the with vest, that, it looks better. Honestly. With the vest, it does kind of look a little dumb. Okay, I guess I'll go without the vest. Yeah. It, without the vest, looks better. <clears throat> All right, thanks. Hmm. I don't know fashion. I, I, I mean, you look fine, Sonny. Wear, wear whatever you want, yes? Oh, I don't really care about Froggy's opinion, but I, I'll take all this. 
Yeah, fair enough. So it, it looks, it looks no. great without the vest. Okay, the vest. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, I think, think the vest goes off. Let me see the jacket. Let me put the... <laughs> Alright, I've got this one. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, um, yeah. the jacket with those pants is... I think the vest... Mm. Oh, sunny. Throw the vest on. Yeah, are we going? Yeah, going, yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so without the vest and no jacket or jacket and vest. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks. How's it been going? I think you look great. No, no, I didn't. Looks like he's got his hands full. Yeah, fair enough. All right, never mind. I've been there. Uh, I've been here. Caster. Formerly of the Dead End Gang. Yeah. He's with the Jolly Rogers now. Oh, he is. Really? That's what I've seen him That is very interesting. Him break the blood. Out the way, August. Oh, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, let's go. Um, if I step foot on the boat, oh, like, am I, is anyone going to give me any trouble or am I good to... Oh, uh, if you go on the boat? Oh, do you need to drop yeah. something off on the boat? <coughs> yeah, just go drop it off. Yes. Drop it off, that's fine. Hey, George, come on in. <coughs> how day, how day. It's nice to see you again. It's nice been a uh, busy day. <coughs> a little bit, a little bit. I, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at fighting, so eventually we will have a rematch, and maybe I won't embarrass myself this time. <laughs> oh no, you were uh, we're getting very close to winning. I'm gonna be honest. I'm surprised I even won. It was. Uh, it was a very. I'm gonna be honest. It was a very scary fight. Um, you was it? Of, you are very scary to fight. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It got me worried the entire time. Usually, it's there's only like a couple moments where I'm like, oh shit. Uh, I was like that the entire fight with you. <laughs> so. Howdy. Mm. Hello. Uh, Hathaway, Bell, Bell, Hathaway. I think we met Bell. Uh, hello again. Or well, nice to meet you. One of those two. Mm hmm. Hello again. Who's the only person who beat me the other night? That's yes, fine. Oh, good work. Fine. <clears throat> stop, stop. Stop getting close to me, George. Oh, oh did uh, Beatrice go. disappear as Uh, yeah. Uh, she left with uh, Pavel and friends. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yep. So, uh, are you with the uh, Stids, Bell? Let's see, I am. Oh. Huh. All right. This one, I think I know all of the new basts. Someone, <laughs> someone new always pops up. Hmm. Well, you know, having to just be in a constant war and not having the chance to get to know people is. It, it does. George. It. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. They have been you, around uh, for months. You're around whenever she was having a gentleman. You do it farther away from the fire, please. See, mm -hmm. before that. Whenever she was having him with Kelly. That was here when he passed. Okay, that. Just, just for that, hell no. <laughs> well, uh, I've been friends with the Basses for a long time. I was friends with Jabass, Marky Fraser. Charles mm -hmm. Divine, Ronnie Rivers. Heard a lot of good things about them. Didn't really get the chance to meet them, though. No.
I'm, uh, I'm slowly meeting and recognizing new faces around here. It's just taking me some time. It takes me about maybe five times to remember <laughs> yeah. people's names. Meet you five times. Well, then I suppose we got like two or three more times to go, probably. I'm sure I've <laughs> met you at least once before now. But, uh, we just stopped by to say hello, and uh, we found another job to go do, so uh, we got a bunch of bank oh, bonds okay. to go deliver. Good luck. Appreciate it, Bell. Good to see you. Uh, where's the first stop, George? Um, by Cumberland? Uh, at the Fishhook Path? Okay, perfect. We can go do Emerald and get the wagon from there and go up to them all. Uh, and check telegrams out the way, too. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> you too good. I really like what tips? Yeah. yeah. Where are we going? Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, we're going. Have a good night, Beth. To Emerald. Oh. Emerald. Uh, stay safe. to see you all. This guy's really grown on me. It's good. <laughs> uh, first one's at Fishhook, second one's in Lemoyne, third one. <laughs> sorry, Bell. Christ. One last question. Has, has Winsmore been around? He was here once in the last week. Damn it. Okay, I'll try and catch up with him. Listen, uh, if you, if you see him, just tell him halfway he says hi. It's been a long time. I keep missing him every time he shows his face. I will, senor. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stella. The third one is at the St. Denis Dock. I'm sorry, so St. Denis Dock, um, Fishhook, Fish. and where was the other one? Uh, Lemoyne? Le it, Excellent. Like, okay. Yeah. Pretty easy. I think we can only do two of them anyway. I'm not sure I've got the extra five bonds from the last one. Okay, August, you spent a bunch of time down there recently. <clears throat> Who yeah. did you meet other than Everett, Vern, Fiverr, and Domino? Uh, Ben. Oh, that was it. Yeah. God damn it. I know that they've oh, got a number of 80 with them. <clears throat> Faith. Faith, that's the other one. Yep, okay. Uh, so Jonah wasn't there either, no? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Okay, I know Jonah's still with them. Jesse Gold is technically still with them. Wins more, kinda, I guess. I'm sure there's someone I'm forgetting. I just gave oh somebody portrait plans for August for the future. For, it's not gonna happen probably for like weeks or months, but um, yeah. I just gave somebody torture perms and DMs for August, so that'll be that'll be interesting. Uh, I just gave somebody torture perms and DMs. I feel bad. I kind of forgot. The, the woman who used to be in The Bastards. I know Aurora, Jabasa's um, partner. It's not gonna probably happen for like a while, a while, like months, but... My I mind is hurt. I'm trying perhaps. to remember the name. I wish I could help. No, oh, I know, it's, it's a long time ago. Okay, uh, let's stop at Riggs because I'm being waved down from Blackwater. Okay. Oh shit, yeah, we were meant to be meeting Sunday, right? Yeah, that's Fuck. why I said check telegrams. Yeah, I'm a genius. I forgot. Um...
Oh yeah, I can't wait to kill a motherfucker dare to try. It's it'll be interesting for who it is. I'm not gonna say any like who it is or anything like that, but it'll it'll definitely be interesting. It's somebody I'm comfortable with, at OC. So there's like two things I told them like I'm not giving perms for, and it's quite literally um nothing to her vocal cords because I don't want to change her voice and Did we lose them? They all gone? Uh, I can't hear any horses. I uh, also cannot hear any horses. The crime fogged them. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was thinking. Alright, shit. Yeah, the person, it is, I'm very confident. Uh, meet and thieves with Blackwater. Um, she said she'd meet and thieves with Blackwater. Uh, where do you want me to have her meet us? Or should I just tell her we're doing something um, later after? Yeah, oh no, I feel bad she's coming all this way. Um, she's not, she said I could meet in thieves or Blackwater. She, she hasn't... Told her okay. Me. Tell her we're just doing something and welcome to Saint Denis yeah, to meet her. Yeah, yeah, do that because we can go down that way anyway. Tell her we're sorry for if she just in case she has already left. Oh, I feel bad now. I really forgot that's why we went to Thieves in the first place. I just completely fucking forgot to order to meet us in Thieves, so we took a fucking job, and now we gotta go all the way to Emerald. What are you gonna meet us? Ah, you're part of that, actually. Tibbs is not moving. There she comes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll be part of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tibbs, yeah. unfortunately, cannot. That's fine. She'll understand. Okay. <clears throat> she'll, uh, she'll fully understand. Perp. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I basically just told them, you know, nothing to vocal cords. Oh, good, left, left, yep. And, like, no taking, like, limbs or, like, her hand or, like, fingers. Um, You did say no. you had packages on your wagon, right? <laughs> yeah, there's four packages on my wagon. Um, You got no, those after, after we did that moonshine run the other night? Oh, fuck. Uh, well, we had the four stops. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot about that one. No, um, but we can get packages at Emerald. So I got packages fine. on my horse. On your wagon? No. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I have one package I can use on one of mine. So. Um. No, we're not going. We can't get packages at Emerald. We're doing uh, a bond delivery job. Yeah. Oh. All, all and then we're meeting with Sunday. I'll have to get those out. Uh, I can replace them for you right after. I just. I just need to use one, I think, for a yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. We picked up the dog this okay. George, <laughs> I made sure I didn't do it in case my head has issues again. I may have solved it, you know, my, I may have taken some good painkillers, maybe. 
Fingers crossed. <laughs> jinxing myself. Yeah, you're probably a sucker. Knock on wood. Yeah, that's why I stopped above rig. So was... you know what else knocks on wood? Beavers. Yeah, I don't knock on wood. I'm, I'm not superstitious. George, I'm not George, superstitious. George, if you need a new hobby. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where you got that. Um, George stopped. Oh. Did he get upset with the needs of a new hobby remark? Kinda need that guy, he's the one with the job. I hope he did not fall asleep. I'll apologize. <laughs> That's not a local. Sorry, my, my ears hover. Y'all know that beavers can gallop like horses? Oh my god. Yes, you've told us four times, George. <laughs> Today. I once rode right off the edge of this cliff up here. Following me around this area is not a good idea. Updating the sorry, and I'm jumping topic to topic because my the way my brain's going. Um, Not immediately. We can come back down to Emerald and grab that. We just need to grab uh, my wagon probably and head up to Fish Hook. Yep. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm going to grab a kitchen. I'm going to put the stuff in it and we'll use August's wagon because there's more stuff in my wagon that I don't want us to get caught with in case. Yep. All good. Conscious August? Oh, yes, very conscious. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I just, I never know when you go quiet. Sometimes you are, sometimes you are. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Uh, is my working Did I. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. I got distracted <laughs> by my DMs. The good thing about updating the condition is now if Law decides to check out the conditions and hold left all, they have a little breadcrumb to figure out if it's me or not. There we go. That was that was the thought I got interrupted by. <laughs> oh, that suspense was killing. I'm sorry. I have ADHD tilt if this happens. I got distracted by DMs. I saw the little red bubble pop up on my taskbar and I needed to needed to go look at it. Ah. Ah.
Thank you. Uh, could you grab your wagon? Uh, oh, is that all right? Because uh, yeah, my wagon's got loads of other stuff on the back. I don't feel safe to take with us on a. Are we not using George's wagon? His is full of shine. Oh shit. I'm my, assuming I'm in the way right now. My wagon has a lot of shine on it. Alright, here you go. Fishhook Road, right, George? Uh, yep. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. I, I'll, I'll just ride. Just get in the seat, George, so we don't have to do Yeah, George. Get in the seat. Get in the seat. And George, this is not a job we want you falling out of the wagon floor. <laughs> I missed a turning because I wasn't tracking where to go. Is not good. No, not. He f he fell asleep again. Oh, you want me to walk the package up there then? Um. Uh, you two That's stay here. I'm gonna good. walk with him. Yeah, <laughs> because there's people behind us anyway. Hey, yeah, you two stay here. Uh, wait for halfway. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk with him. All right, we'll do.
road with that package. What the fuck? Um, what the fuck? What the fuck? Can, can you put the package back on? Uh, there's no horse on that wagon. We watched the wa the horse detach from the wagon. Okay, that definitely uh, is. Yeah, George, put, put the, the put the wagon back on and put the oh. package. Yeah, apparently, if the and there's get, a horse on the wagon. Thing. Yep, yep. And if you can see this horse, you need to get a horse. Uh, no, George, get on my horse. Just get on my horse. Yeah, it's, or ahead. blackjack. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's go. <clears throat> that is that is cursed. That is fucking cursed. It, I hate. It's it's a horseless carriage. Yeah, just just ignore me. This is fucking cursed. Because my horse is all the way back there. And yeah, you can't whistle your horse while you're on the back end of the horse. Oh, hey, look now that. Hathaway, are you still standing? <laughs> yes. Um. I was gonna tell you to be careful going up here. Where's George? Oh, he's behind here. me. Okay, here you go, buddy. Uh... <laughs> this is a train wreck. Everything's got to run right now. I hate everything. Do you see Hathaway standing? Yeah. I need to take a quick nap. I need to take a quick nap, yeah. No, 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 it's not you, it's me. Oh, okay. I have my gun out just in case because Hip said that those people had guns out. Well, A, there were wolves, and B, we all just kind of like galloped up past them, so yeah, I don't blame them. Yeah. Well, I saw the horse finally when it crashed. I did see the horse when it crashed. Okay. Yep. Well, I did. I did at least, you know, see the horse on the wagon when it crashed. I'm more concerned with guns out. Who has guns out? Uh, so when you crashed the wagon the first time, um, it was by that cabin on the lake. <clears throat> yep. There were like six or seven people. I didn't at crash the wagon, by the way. Definitely okay. Not. So when you had a headache and it crashed into that rock. Um, there were six or seven people at that cabin by that lake with guns out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did they look in our direction at all? Uh, yep. What to now? Uh, my horse is too far away. Oh, goddamn. Hold on. You shouldn't have left over there. Hey. I tried to flee at me, though, it's fine. Alright, where to? Um, Back to Emerald. To go um, to Lemoyne, right? How much uh, time do we have on that, George? 33 minutes. Wolves. Yep. Yeah, I hear him. Let's go. Hmm. Uh, 
this way. Let's go. This way? Yes, this way. Okay. Yeah, this is the fastest way back to Emerald. So the drop off spot for the Lemoy one? Uh, on your map, you you know the Scarlet Meadows? Uh, yeah. It's right at the S. I to grab a wagon, so... Yep. Uh, probably be driving the wagon. That's fine. Like either people can't hear me or they're like ignoring me today. It's getting kind of frustrating. So I'll explain something and then like I get talked over saying the exact thing I'm saying. Am I what it is? I don't know if it's like maybe I'm just too quiet. Or like what's up? My flint is gonna be gone. Why does it can check has a stream? Maybe they can't hear you. No, they can hear me because you responded to what I said. It just <clears throat> I don't know what it is. I feel like I just today I'm being talked over quite a bit. And this has been like going even before I started streaming. Like I've had to explain the same thing like three sure times. <clears throat> There's a suitcase on the back of the wagon, George. You're just going to deliver the suits. Does the suitcase work for this? I'll take it in the suitcase. I'm sorry, what? They'll, they'll take it in the suitcase. I believe so. Are you sure this is one of those crate type things? George, I thought you said Le Moyne. Yeah, it's not. It's not okay. Le Moyne, it's Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, there's definitely in the way to Lamar. Scarlet Meadows. Like Meadows. the swamp, right? Yeah, no, Scarlet Meadows. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you, but it's him with the job, so I believe him over you. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you Scarlet Meadows, because that's what he just told me on our way to Emerald. Okay. Well, he told me yeah. Lemoyne earlier, so I'm Scarlet confused. Scarlet Meadows is in Lemoyne. In Lemoyne, just the swamp? No, Lemoyne's all of that road, Scarlet Meadows, Vulgar Glade. Right? I'm just thinking of Le Gras and Le Quay, aren't I? I'm yeah, thinking Le Gras is Le Moyne. Yeah. That, that Too many I, owl names all in one spot. Just getting ignored. It's like, yes, because he, he just told me, which is why I'm specifying. George, George, there's no that. road. It's the, the roots tell me to come down. 
is a path. There is okay. a path that goes across this. <clears throat> it's a very small Fair path, enough. but it is a path. We're coming up on the delivery. Oh, I think I know where it is. Yep. There's like a camp up ahead. You gotta go put it in there. So that wagon's nearly busted. I forgot to fix your wagon, didn't you, my boy? Possibly. Oh, there's guns on it. I could try and take it very slow back there, everyone. I was just trying to detach the horse and send it away and I'll fucking reclaim the thing later, but yeah, okay, we can we can try and take it back to Emerald. Just go uh, right hop off the really. wagon. No, just let it, let's take it back. Fuck it. It'll save me sure? fifteen bucks if we take it back, yeah. Even if it breaks on the because way. I like, can detach fine. it right now. No, it's fine. I tried it a couple times, it didn't detach. Okay, it's fine. I could have tried it, but it's fine. No, yeah, we may as well. George, just go forward, buddy. Go down the dry riverbed. We'll get to Emerald that way. Uh, no, I'm five short of doing the final delivery. Well, if I'd known, I would have given you mine. Oh, no, it's all good. I, I didn't realize until, uh... Yeah, I've only got 20 left. It needs 25. George, just gun it, buddy. I don't care if it oh, breaks right now. I'll send them to pick it up. Wigan. Wigan. That wigan. That wagon. <sighs> just almost went up to the fucking moon. Needs yeah. repairing anyway, so... Oh, when we get there, George, don't give it to the stable guy. I think I have to, otherwise he makes me reclaim it anyway. Okay, jump up, George. Thanks. 
appreciate it. Oh, I'm gonna go see if my horse is in the stable. Alright, George is going to the stable. I need to go to telegrams to see if Sunday telegrams me. Tunnels acting up. I forgot to deal. put the guns away back on the wagon. I'll have to go back over there in a second. I can feel the pain radiating up through my fucking fingers right now. That's fun. That's, that's a great time. We love that. Okay. Um, let's see there. Uh, do we want to meet her in the market? Sorry, what? Do we want to meet Sunday in the market? Could do. Yeah, if she wants to meet. That sounds good. All right. Okay, um, send the telegram and then I'll be over by the wagon shop. I'm going to do that now. Hydrating, but I will hydrate again. Thank you, Tilted. Thank you for the hydrate. I go through a lot of water when I play August. <clears throat> a lot of water. Take the reins. Please. I, I okay. there's pain radiating through my fingers. Alright. I, um, I uh, tell me where I'm going. Are we meeting her now or uh, yeah, later? The, the market in Saint Denis. Okay. <clears throat> That's where you told me to tell him that we were meeting her there. Okay, yeah, we're going straight to Saint Denis to the market. I need you to tell uh, Tibbs that we have to do this in private. I will really get there, don't worry. Kind of feel bad dragging her all the way there in case there's somewhere she'd rather be, that's all. Uh, we want to stop here now and ask her. <clears throat> yeah, 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 go ahead. Uh, Tibbs. <clears throat> hmm? Um, so this is a meeting we need you to step away for. It's up to you if you still want to come to Sandy and with us and just wait till we're done talking, or if you have something else you'd rather be doing oh. while we're having this meeting. Okay, I can walk away. Uh, it's it's entirely up to you. Uh, we just feel bad if you come all the way. To it's not going to take long. 
Um, I just didn't know if you wanted to come to Sanity with us still, or if you want to step away for a little bit. <clears throat> I don't care, whatever works for you. Well, it's up to you, it's your preference. I gave you my preference. Okay. The sandy knees, sandy knees. Coming with? Uh, yeah. She said it's up okay. to me, and, and you know, I feel bad making her leave altogether. Because I don't want her to. I like her being on it. Like, yeah. I agree. I like having Tibbs around. <laughs> but you realize we're gonna have to make that choice sometimes. Have someone who can shoot for us over Tibbs if uh, if they're around. Um, well away. Okay. Well away. Oh. Yeah, I I always have water. I refill my water a lot. I'm. It's why I like AFK sometimes a bunch. Uh, cause I have to pee. <laughs> Because I'm very hydrated. I've been drinking less water today, though. Um, I will admit, I've been drinking Resting water the horse. Time. I keep getting carried away and riding full speed everywhere I'm going. We need to, we need to save our horses. Yeah, I'm not good at that. I get carried away. I, I kind of like to get places quicker. I don't know why. Bad habit. I tried collecting sugar cane. For oh, just, the just, uh, yeah. 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 It takes so long. Now you know why we told you to cubes. just buy the sugar cubes. Yeah, and only for two sugar cubes per cane. Yep. And you need 250 of the damn things. You gotta pick 125 sugar cane for one shine run. It's Kill insane. Me. The the wheat isn't so bad. No, nope, wheat's fine, but sugar is horrendous. Yeah. And then you gotta fucking use the dust in the mortar to grind it oh, into a cube and everything. Uh, and it's, yeah. It's Such a long job. Pestle and mortar. I used to pick all my own sugar when I used to sell mash a long, long time ago. Halfway's Sweet Wheaties. <laughs> the best, best moonshine mash on the market. It just took me forever. At least I made all of the money from it, you know? It isn't so bad. The sugar, that was annoying. Yep. God, I can make you through this without having constant headaches. Uh, Tibbs, you're more than welcome to come in with us until they uh, get here. I can just stand out here. You sure? No, I'm not too sure. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Tibbs, I love you. You're beautiful. should be over here shortly. Oh, I see. It's very fortuitous. I got a telegram when I did. I, um, 
I got off the train back from New York a few hours ago. Jesus, okay, well, welcome back. Thank you. I needed to mostly clear my head, but I had a bit of business to uh, attend to up uh, up north, so... Melted, yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I hope everything went okay. Yes, um, I got to see my nephew, who is in uh, good health and he's been doing well, so it was nice to um, spend some time with him. I always find time away gives you a perspective. But I hope uh, while well, we're doing well, I see you're still supporting the lavender. I imagine you're <laughs> still uh, evading certain individuals. Uh, yes, and apparently uh, there is also someone not law who wants to pick me up and grab me. So that's fun. Oh fucking hell! Who? <laughs> Hello. No fucking Howdy idea. Sunday. Actually, no idea. Okay. Oh my god. I'm uh, I'm not completely sure I'm going to be able to have this in the city. My head is already fucking playing up on me. Sorry. Okay, um, we we can leave. Yeah, if we could head to somewhere outside, like maybe even just a little bit to the north. I'm sorry, Sunday. Yeah. No, no, not yeah. at all. Um, we'll follow your lead. Um, okay. Let me go get my horse. Okay. Uh, Hathaway's already having really bad headaches, so we need to leave the city. Um, so, uh, we're gonna go north. You're welcome to come with us. Deep in thought, fuck. Uh, uh, Tiff is deep in thought. Shit. Um, <laughs> we'll come back for Tibbs, is that? Yeah, that's you fine. want me to stay back with Tibbs so that no, she no, at no, least I has someone? No, 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 I want you with us. Um, Alright. We'll come back for Tibbs. Tibbs should bring. Also, uh, so I we saw could paint. Just, uh, you know, pick her up and carry her along, but I think I'll draw quite a In bit of undue attention. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's art. Oh my god. Amazing. I, ne I need to listens. figure out these headaches. I need to figure out headaches. It's it's maddening. August. It's. I'm. Uh... Have you uh, talked to Sue yet? No, I haven't. That's a place to... okay. Oh god, it's so muddy. We're just, uh, stay outside, I guess. Oh, sorry to bring you into a swamp Sunday, it's just the city has been causing Sorry. The headaches real bad. Um, uh, it's just gonna be very irritating if I have to... No, I completely understand. And to be honest, it's not that much of a good to come out here. I used to come out here all the time to hunt alligators. Excellent. I don't know what's wrong with me recently. I just, just I keep having headaches whenever I'm around like yeah. towns and things. It's it's uh Maybe it's the crowded air. Yeah, it's gonna be it. Saint Denis is probably all the smog from how you died. 
just your device is becoming. Probably, I imagine, but um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that uh, someone's after you, August. Are they, or are they after the, the group as a whole? Um, three of us may have How did you know about that? Because I just said it because I said somebody's. Cause she goes, oh, okay. She asked about the one. I said, yeah, and somebody else is trying to grab me. That's not mine. Well, if there's anything I can do to alleviate either of those uh, situations, please do let me know. Julio, come over. You look so menacing just standing there behind the Sunday. Like, what do you mean? Just, just come over here. It's a goddamn meeting. Oh my god. Jesus. Right. Okay. What? Um, <laughs> Sunday, this is. Um, did August say anything in the telegram as to why we wanted to meet? Um, no, she said it was just, just good things. So. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to him about some things. That's all I said. I didn't specify anything. And just hopefully okay. that should be interesting. Well, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how to start with this, but I'll just go with, um, you know what I used to do, right? Yes. Which is kind of what you're doing now. Yes. We're thinking again back into it. Like, Ooh. on a serious... Um, thing is, I don't want to step on any toes, and I don't want to make it bad between anyone that we move back into the line of work we used to do. Of course. So, I had a proposition for you that may be intriguing, or you may not give a damn, and you could just tell us no. Don't feel worried about that. It's not going to be anything... We'll figure things out if it comes to that, but... We'd like you to come into business, <laughs> not, not with us, but... So that we can support what you're doing and not step on your toes. <clears throat> You'd fully have, um, like, it's not messing with your independence. We're not asking you to work for us, anything like that. It's fully you running your own thing. Uh, I guess we're just... Asking if you'd like to do it alongside us. I would enjoy that very much, actually. <clears throat> That's actually surprising. I uh... see. I told you if we made sure she knew it was all about her independence. I, mean, I was. I that was I mean, I've. I'm always open to partnership. Well, that's good. Because you're not the only partner. We made another one earlier today. One who oh. is has heavy backing financially, uh, mm. much to the degree of myself. And what we're trying to do is work together as a bit more of a... I see. Uh, who uh, might they don't... Be? Sorry, finish all this? Uh, I shouldn't say they don't deal with papers, so they won't step on your toes, and you dealing with papers doesn't step on them, so... Cool. They are more of a background person, and their specialty, well, just for instance, about three weeks ago, they just handed me a crate of nitro. Told me we'd figure it out later on, you know, and it's a very good friend of mine, someone I've known for a very long time. They're good at keeping quiet, not going to be facing anyone that we deal with. We'll be making all the transactions ourselves and you. They are very good for storage because law will never give them any hassle. So they will be happy to look after things for us. And they're going to just continuously work. And if ever they can exchange the goods that we're, we're fencing, then they're going to turn it into nitro, which will be easier to sell for more of a profit. I think it would work really well. Yes, I can imagine. Um, I don't. I don't imagine I know them, but might I ask who they are? Their name is Andrew Miller. I don't believe I've made their acquaintance. Not many people hmm. have. Hmm. 
He's uh, very good at kind of keeping quiet about everything he does. He is uh, so quiet about what he does that even once you meet him, it could be months and months before you even realize that he uh, he's part of Pan. I see. However, he runs their freight gym. He is part of uh, their entire operation, but what we're doing mm. with him is going to be completely separate to them. Of course. Well, I... I think his connection to Taipan certainly <laughs> bodes well. They... I mean, I think we all know that there's something going on behind the scenes, but the fact that we don't know what it is, I think is perfect. Um, and I always uh, appreciate their uh, professionalism, so um, that's uh, quite a... I think a reference, in my opinion. Yeah. Hmm. Also, in uh, regards to a partnership with us, um, if you ever need to meet to pick up goods, papers, whatever, uh, we can offer sending somebody with you so you just have extra protection if needed. Not that I yes, think you I... need protection, but you just use somebody there just in case. No, of course, I completely understand. I think that would be... Um... Ideal, I find that if I'm not alone, I'm with someone I might do business with, and I think I've already kind of stepped in it a little bit when it comes to what I offer, who and why. So, I think having a, um, an objective party with me would be more than ideal, but um, I think something of a partnership would be perfect. I guess I'm just curious what exactly... Uh, specifically, do you all want to get back into so we can, I guess, best diversify? As a whole, with mm. all of us working together, plan is yes. everything. Alright. So, the main reason for this is as there is one group in particular who still use me to fence their goods. Mm. And after doing a deal the other night, I decided that it would be beneficial for us to get back into that line of work more proactively. Of course. However, I'd like to bring you along and make introductions to all these people that still know me as an old fence from the bottom and uh, try and get you some more business with certain parties, namely... Mm. The people that I have been fencing for is and gang. I see. <laughs> they don't seem to know any of the new fences or know anyone they can get rid of their goods to, so they still call on me when they want to do it. Right. Well, I would absolutely open to something like that. Um, at least from what I've heard about them, I don't think I've met any of them directly, but they... Um... They are good uh, friends to have. Definitely. Yes. Yes, that's what I've certainly heard. I uh, imagine you've not done work with the bastards yet, Eva? I have bought and fenced things for Zip Quill. I do not know if he specifically is a bastard. I'm not entirely familiar with all of the um, intricacies of the New Austin. The Quills are Zip is reasons. the Quill gang. Mm. Yep. Bastards are not thieves. There's plenty of people that probably just haven't heard of yourself yet, don't know that you fence. They might occasionally use the Pavi. They might occasionally find anyone else who's looking to buy goods and just sell to anyone who's looking to make a quick buck off of a delivery job or whatever. Of course. So hopefully I can make introductions to some other people, especially if certain groups come back around like uh, they tend to. Mm. I think um, I think it's a remark, dear, and I I suppose I do understand why you might have imagined I'd be apprehensive to it, <laughs> but um, I do appreciate the sensitivities, my uh, desire for independence. I I always I'm always interested in I guess uh, business partnerships and collaborations in that respect, especially when I am so new. Um, I do have one or two, I suppose, right now, but I don't imagine they will stay fruitful. So this is actually really perfect timing that you've come to offer me this. Okay. 
if you don't mind me asking, who is the current partnerships with? Well, I have, um, I've been working mostly with uh, Antonio Romano, and he's formerly slash is associated with the um, with the Blamos, but as you might remember, is getting a bit messy, and I yeah. mis- don't really it it continues to thicken, and I don't really have the time to uh, pass through it all. So I I guess I'd rather just start fresh. <laughs> Fair enough. So, but um, that's that's a major one, and then I, I do from time to time um, do a little bit of work. Mostly, I've been I've been fencing for Box Populi, Mr. Simmons, and those those people, and because of my my history with um, his girl leader Lindsay, um, which of course you've met. Sorry. Um, oh, Xander. Yes, Xander. Xander's okay, with Xander is with Lindsay. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, Lindsay and I will do things from time to time, but it's nothing concrete. It's more just about being around each other, I suppose. No, I think that's fair enough. Would be ideal. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, the main thing we wanted to do was speak to you first. Um, we spoke with Mr. Miller for a long time earlier today. We are. We need his name to stay very quiet. Of course. I did already ask him if he didn't mind me mentioning him to you. Mm. So what we're gonna do is sort out some kind of meeting between all of us at some point, or at the very least, me and August, yourself and Mr. Miller. Yes. We can sit down and kind of iron out the specifics. Yes, I think it would be um, perfect, and I do appreciate, uh, I suppose, you asking him if it would be alright to, to mention him. Um, I'm glad for that, because I do know, like, I do like to know who I'm working with. Of course, yeah. I figured it would be, uh, I think he thought the same thing, it would be a lot easier to know who you're working with rather than him be completely secretive behind us, so. Yes, of course, and the, the more I, I suppose, it's a double-edged sword. The more I know, the more I, you know, can can know what exactly not to say. But then again, if I don't know at all, sometimes it's beneficial. But I, I think the former is better in this specific situation. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's news to us. We were hoping you'd yes. be on board for it. So. <clears throat> yes, I um. I suppose in in respect to the that partnership, I am using the um, the trade company to potentially fence or, or smuggle goods rather to and from Guam. I don't know if that would be interesting to you at all, but um, I suppose I think, we can also um, cross that when we get to it. And there's not entirely a market for it straight away, so. Mr. Miller will be happy to know about things like that. He is mm. uh, he's not interested in just. The illicit goods like gold and bonds and everything. He is interested in absolutely everything. Perfect. He would like to see or create some kind of market for all goods that can be delivered or traded for whatever purpose. Excellent. Yes, that's um precisely what I was uh, I've been aiming to do with Guama, and it's been successful so far. So if we can expand to the uh, crossing at large, I think that would be absolutely ideal. Excellent. Well, yeah, that's the plan. We're, uh, yes. we're going to move back into it. Obviously, there is... There's the thing you should know. Obviously, we're not going to move completely out of the line of work we're in. We're going to still mm. be doing the things we do. Yes, of course. So on occasion, there is a chance that we disappear for short stints. And uh, if that were to happen, we'll keep in contact with you, at least via Telegram. And if we have anyone that's contacting us to make deals or anything, are you happy for us to pass them your way? Please, yes, I'd be more than happy to do that, especially when you all are indisposed. Yeah, hopefully it won't ever be for too long. And if any of these guys are still out and able to help, then by all means I'll, uh, I'll let them Thank know the to meet up with you and, and give you a hand with you whatever by. transactions you need to make. 
Yes, absolutely. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think I'm a little quiet at the moment. When Mr. Miller is present, but I imagine I would um, do, business I I do business as I do business, and you do, do business as you do business, and the financials will stay separate. That would be true. One thing that uh, is beneficial to us is if we ever have those kind of goods that we need to get rid of, uh, Mr. Miller is happy to store them. He's happy to turn them into nitro. He will be supplying us nitro and uh, allowing us to populate the market, try and take that area of the market when it comes to nitroglycerin and dynamite. Right, of course. I have been working with my niece who does it, but she does it, I suppose, more for the love of it rather than the business of it. So I don't imagine that would cramp her business too much, but oh, it's something sure I, I, am, no. I do try to be sensitive to. The thing is, there's always going to be people that need it and want of it. Course. And we're, <laughs> if we're offering it a bit too readily to everyone, then... It doesn't really work out well. No, so we'll still we'll still try and not completely flood the market with nitro. Nothing like that. Hmm. Yes, I wouldn't imagine, sir, but it's uh, nice to keep in mind. Absolutely. Yeah, and that is the plan. We'll. Um, I hope you're having a lovely night, Scarlet Frost. Sorry, one I thing got distracted by the conversation. It does still kind of feel a bit on me and I'm trying to figure out the best way to really mm. work around it in my head is that if we do something like this, we're going to be competing with the Parvi. Right. And I've been friends with them for a very long time, but just lately, they've not been around as much as to be. Yes, I think... I don't know them as well as obviously of you do, but I imagine that if there's someone to pick up the market, I would hope that they would prefer friends rather than, you know, their direct, their outright competition uh, move into it. So I guess there, there's that going for us. Yeah. They're, um... They're likely to view us as competition once they realize mm. we're doing it, but for as long as we possibly can, we're, we're going to keep it quiet. Right, of course. Is exactly why we had to leave us behind in Saint Denis. Mm, I see. Of course. Do you think they would um, be, I guess, be, I guess, rather cross about um, <laughs> the potential move, or would it just be, I, I guess, just a bit upsetting? The deal I always had with them was they bought and sold everything but the touched bonds. And Bonds was my area. I see. So I worked hand in hand with RV. They would send people my way with Bonds and I'd send people their way with gold or whatever else they had to sell. I we see. did have some areas that crossed, like I would sell dynamite, they'd sell dynamite. I sold gems, they sold gems. But it was only those small areas, so they didn't mind too much. Not, not like properly trying to establish. No. Hmm. It wasn't like I was moving into the gun market or anything, but that is no, definitely it's... something that we want to do now. Yes, I think that would be um, a very good idea. Well, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, again, you would all know them better, but I don't know if a outright, out, you know, a declaration to them, respectfully, would be better than trying to hide it. I'm not sure. Maybe yeah. we can come to that eventually, once we've figured everything out, figured out the details. Of course. Of course. But I guess at this point we just need to have a talk with all of us and uh, figure out exactly the details of how everything would work, or whether we'd just move the bonds over to you in exchange for cash and then you'd do whatever you wanted to do with them, if uh, we'd just take you to all the deals to purchase bonds. We'd be buying other things, so we all, whether it was a joint effort, you know, we'll figure it all out. Yes. It's just speaking on it now, it might be easier. I mean, if I'm not available, of course, but it might be easier to, um, I guess, if you broke with the connection, I, I come and do the paying and everything else rather than, it, I guess, trading so many hands. But I guess, uh, I suppose we'd, we'll find a situation that works best as we uh, work through it. 
To be honest, um, when it comes to people trying to sell, if you're around at the time, then we can just reach out and tell you that we have a deal to go make, and by all means, we just all go together and buy everything at the same time so that they haven't got to set up separate meets or whatever. Right. But if they have to, then they have to. I'd rather you be face to face with the people that we're buying the goods from rather than us try and pick it up for you and drop it off. Yeah, and then, I mean, outside of the, the courtesy of it, which I do um, appreciate, it's, it's a bit harder, I think, trading hands so many times is a bit trickier. Personally, I feel it's all about you being face to face with them. Yes. Tra trading nice hands thing. doesn't matter much, but what's the point in doing your business if it's not to establish the connection yourself and make sure that they're aware of who it is that's paying for their goods. Exactly. They need to be able to see you face to face. No, I agree. So, yeah, we'll, always, uh, we'll always make sure that you're there if it's a, specifically a bond trade or anything like that. We're not gonna, mm -hmm. we're not gonna push you out of any deals like that. Nothing, nothing like that. No, I appreciate that. I wouldn't imagine so, but um, the reassurance is nice. Yeah. Well, excellent. Okay. Well, it's Kenoda, you're aboard, and uh, we will we'll just try and set that up with Miller and make sure that we can have a proper talk. Yes, I think, um, of course, it's not entirely too much rush, but the sooner we get that all squared away, we'll be able to uh, embark. Yep. Excellent. Okay. You're around earlier in the day sometimes. Um, yes. Sometimes, um,. As early as four New York, but um, four PM New York. But uh, I'm also around. Okay. All hours when it comes to the evening as well. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, I know that our meeting with Miller happened. What was it like? Maybe two, three, three PM New New York today. Uh, probably about then, if not a little bit. Yeah, probably Maybe there. even a little bit earlier. Yeah. Right. Well, if it um, if it's a, if there's a specific time that because uh, I mean it's uh, I I can you know have a bit of an early morning and uh, and make a, a meeting or two if it's uh, if it's scheduled. But um, typically okay. I don't know Someone's if I'm around those times. But of course I, I usually can make time if it's uh, if it's a dedicated thing. I will say though I. Um, I just got back and I'm about to leave again, so I'll be away in, from, I guess, tomorrow afternoon until through Sunday. So, but after that, That's I should be back as uh, as regular. So, if we try and schedule a meeting for maybe next Monday, a week today, that would be fantastic. Okay, perfect. So I'll try and figure that out. Now uh, he's. He was going to be around most of the day. There is a lot of the time he's around late at night as well, so we can definitely arrange meetings around this time. Perfect. Yes, I think the um, the easiest thing, at least for me, but like I said, I'd be more than happy to uh, to arrange my schedule such so I can okay. uh, make sure that happens. Perfect. I'll uh, I'll reach out to him and let him know that we'll uh, we'll do it a week today. Excellent. I'm uh, very glad to be going into business together. Yeah, it should be fun, at the very I least. Hope. Hopefully, Definitely. profitable. Yes, that would be ideal. I think I think we'd yeah. be a bit concerning if for some reason it was not profitable. But well, you know that man that used to ship all my things out of state for me down in Thieves ran away mm. with all my bonds and the contact where he'd shipped all my stuff. So, uh, oh dear. Oh. Yeah, there was a time when this business was not profitable, but at least it made me friends. Yeah, that is very true. Oh. Thankfully, I don't really plan on absconding with uh, <laughs> connections and, and cash, so there's that to look forward to. Ah, no, it's all good. All right. But yes, excellent. I um, I thought perhaps this might be the top conversation, and I'm very glad it was. Okay. What made least... you think it was going to be? Well, I was trying to think of um, well, at least some kind of um working towards some kind of alliance at the very least. Well, I think August mentioning that she wanted to ask, talk to me about something and that it was positive, I can only imagine that would be um, 
having to do with bracelets. Uh, specifically Excellent. put that, because I realize sometimes putting a telegram going, we need to discuss something with you, comes a little <laughs> scary. So. It's, it could be an yeah. ominous, yes. It doesn't help when Julio block exit as well, looking in real ominous mm, from the start of the yes. meeting. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Thing what? It just twitching. It, it looked like you were ready to pounce look, on her at any second. Look, I fucking hate it here. Even I was for Sunday. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> because I'm the most scary looking <laughs> motherfucker. I'm the one. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm always getting shit. You do cast a rather, uh, a rather dark figure with your eye patch and moustache and black clothing. Uh -huh. And the blocking of the what? Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the blocking of the what? The blocking of the stat. Oh block god! Fucking damn it! Standing directly behind me. It was just right. ominous, you know. I mean, I wondered what was going on. I thought maybe you were about to stab me in the back. <laughs> blocking all my exits. What's going on here? What? Nothing. I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you. All right. Well. Exciting. Very exciting. It should it's be. Like, I, I yeah. don't think anyone's ever done anything like this. Every fence normally worked their own and they... I mean, I know I did. I was on my own for six months when I was doing mm. this. And as much fun as it was, it was a hell of a lot of work. I think it'll be, it'll be good everyone working together. Yeah, absolutely. Especially as I'm in my newfound independence, I, I'm um, a bit alone. I do have um, well, the the gentleman you met, Lewis. I think he's going to spend most of his time in, in Guama, and then I do have um, at least when it comes to um, legal business, one employee. But I do imagine that could um, could cross over a bit. We shall see. But uh, I don't know if you know Damien Thompson. Goes by Dame. I'm not sure I do know Damien. Uh, Desmond is the only person that. Mm. Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, oh! Sorry, Sunday. I uh, right. I slipped the, the 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 slippery floorboards, and uh, yes, thank and you for a... stopping my fall. Yep. No, of course I was so mm -hmm. happy to. I've done. Um, that's not the first time I've done that, is it? Oh. <laughs> The, um, floor, the floor is very slippery. I think you yep, need to get your yeah, shoes yeah. resold, perhaps. Yeah, it was because I walked through the swamp water down there. Mm, it was. Most yeah. like. Okay. Uh, no, I remember being Edmund. I was trying to think of his name for a second. It's not mm -hmm. a Damien, so... Yes, he, I think he used to... Well, he did in... I do know. He used to be a, um, a mercenary type of contract killer, but he's left that behind. And, um, seems very interested. He's very... He seems to be invested in Guama, and, um... So we'll see how that goes, but uh, okay. I suppose you might see him around from time to time. Fair enough. And uh, by all means, if you ever need me to watch your back, if you're going to meet someone for the first time or anything like that, that's definitely something we can provide. I would appreciate Thank you. Thankfully, I haven't really needed it because, um, well, I've been lucky, I suppose. But um, in the future, I think I will um, take that into consideration, especially, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what to even think about my former employers i think it's probably nothing's going to happen but you never know i do find myself looking over my shoulder from time to time sorry if you guys can hear the dog just walking well, hopefully around they didn't right do now. anything stupid but you i should never think <laughs> you can never know what people are thinking right no precisely i only think not because i feel like they would have tried to do something already but yeah all the same Oh, yeah, I just remember back I was meeting people for the first time. Even I, uh, traveling the road with as much money as I needed to take with me just to meet up with these people. I, uh, I even hired people to watch my back every now and then. Yeah, no, I can, I do appreciate that there's a, um, you know, a, a national bank. I'm not used to that at all, but, uh, so you don't, you know, I can always, uh, have someone meet me somewhere and then as long as there's a bank I can I can pull out whatever balance I have but yeah no I'm sure it's a uh, no, discretion being key you probably aren't meeting in places with banks yeah to be honest um I remember having to hire security when I first went to make a deal with the Dow Lobos at Rafskeller Fork mm. and obviously yes. I was traveling with a lot of money on me and uh meeting them far away from any bank so yes 
Yeah, so it could come in handy sometimes if, I, if anyone asks you to meet in like Tumbleweed or at Ford Mercer or something stupid like that, because it, it's mm -hmm. probably going to happen. Yeah, Kelly Gang, for instance. First meeting with Kelly Gang was up in Fort Mercer. Oh. And, you know, I was just some offense. Didn't really have the kind of reputation I have now. They just robbed me, taken all the money, kept the bonds, and sent me packing. But... Yeah, especially... I mean, the way contracts are given these days, that I think that could be very certainly a possibility, but... Yep. I should hope people are lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, the whole reason I moved out of the line of covers in to begin with, was because these contracts were going to force people to maybe just their own work. Yeah. Well, cheers to working together. I'm yeah. looking forward to it, absolutely. <laughs> I guess I'm very curious why you might thought I might I would be adverse to it. So Mostly because it was, yeah, it was a conversation we had of you know need to make sure that Sunday doesn't think we're trying to you know make her work for us or anything else. I wanted mm -hmm. to make it clear that it was a partnership and working alongside us. Well, Personally, for it. me, it's the whole thing with A when he approached you and sounded like he was trying to strong arm you into working together and everything. That made me think that maybe it wasn't something you wanted to do. Right. Yeah, I mean, that is true in in a sense, but also Jay was incredibly gauche about it, and uh, I think <laughs> we've uh, we've had a gotten off on much feet. So, oh, that's good. Okay then. Well, I suppose we don't have to stand in the uh, discussing no. small longer. No, yeah, we, should we can go, go back to, to the city. We uh, we shall not mention this to anyone until. Yeah, yeah. A better time. Until need be. Until, it's, unless it's, it's quiet. Yep. yep. I know nothing. Mainly because of Tib. That's the big thing, is yeah, we can't cool. talk about it when Tibbs is around because. Yeah. Tibbs will get it back to the party, even though um, she's a friend. I need you to take the reins for. I need to go back because I need to take care of something real quick. Made a mess, and I need to go clean it. I'll be right back, chat. Okay, Sunday. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll ride with you back to the city, I suppose, if you're heading sure. that way. Yes, I am. We'll ride very close to you, back to city. Yes. Apparently, yep. <laughs> Just touch feet. sucks because August isn't like a business savvy character. She can be a little bit. That was more of my old crim. So I didn't think she'd be going this route. I mean it makes sense a little bit because crims have to have some sort of like business savvy but I'm wondering if there's anyone else that we should approach to maybe in on this. But I think we're just us Sunday and Miller. Be, that could be uh, enough right yeah, now. I think, I think that is enough at the moment. Uh, also, I'm being waved down, so after we pick up Tibbs, let's leave Saint Denis so you don't have a headache and we need to check Telegram, so maybe Anna Spurring. Yeah, that's fine. doing okay right now um we'll see how it is the longer Stand i'm in the city now. i'm the one having fucking headaches thanks uh, and oh, then uh, they're contagious julio i have a gift for you when we get tips Alright, Sunday, it was a pleasure. We're gonna. We're gonna 
pot here and grab tips and bring me along back. Uh, this is from the Jolly Rogers. I really do too. It's been an ongoing problem for a few days now. <laughs> The Jolly Rogers, all yes. right. Wait, wait, we each got him. Let me go get tips. Come on, we're gonna pick you up. We had to leave St. Denis because the boy was having headaches. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, tips. He is, he's having real bad headaches. It's like we have My to leave St. Denis just like now. It's not good in St. Denis. It's just. I have to leave St. Denis. You're not all obligated to come. Uh, we're right, headed up right. to Annisburg to check telegrams. You ran into me. Mm. And I said, should I? <laughs> oh, can you take the reins for a second? I need to. Uh. Oh, Stuck the landing. Real smooth landing. I'm really trying really hard. <laughs> right, we're going up to Annisburg. Uh, do we have another meeting up there? Just to go up there. Um, checking telegrams up there because we can't check telegrams here. Uh, I'm assuming it's Morgan Windward. Um, that's who I'm assuming it is. I don't know who August could have pissed off otherwise. Um, like, wanting to grab August uh, as, like, punishment for taking his girlfriend's gun. Uh, cause he likes to go after people Hathaway cares about, but that's my guess. Um, if it's not Morgan, don't tell me who. But, if you're thinking it's a new serial killer. Unless it's Leroy. That's less fun. I was thinking there's a new serial killer. Is there a new serial killer? I know there's Leroy, the clown. Although I don't think he's a serial killer. I think he's... I think he's grabbed people and slashed them up. But I don't think he's a serial killer. Um... There's that Albert Hastings guy, or Alfred Hastings, whatever it was. That serial killer that we made clean up the mess. I don't think he'd be after August. Why would there be a serial killer after August? Oh, weird sigils and shit. Yeah, that's. I think there's a couple new gangs that are doing like occult shit. Um. I think it's just Morgan. That's what we're assuming anyway. It's Morgan. But who knows? Fucking hell. No. I hope they're okay. You heard Pooh's okay? What's going on? The phrase. This looked like he was in bad shape. Who? Who's Ellis? Ellis. Jesus, we've... Hathaway. We've gone over who Ellis is I have, so many times. I have times. never met an Ellis. Yes, you have. You've met Ellis twice. You met Ellis. I've heard their met... name so many times, I've you never have... met Ellis. Yes, you have. You've I met Ellis. I refuse to believe <laughs> I'm Ellis. I deny it. I've never met this person. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Okay. Anyway, Julia, what happened to Ellis? Uh, his, his knee was shattered. By who? He was in Sessica. I think it was 
Lavinia? How did you say her name? Lavinia. Lavinia as well, yeah. They had just gotten released. I was talking with Jesse. There's someone attacked them in Sissica or? I don't know. Damn, okay. Are those I mean, local horses? No, those nope. are not local horses. Those are not local horses. That's a uh, Mustang and an Irish pub. Yeah, it's so we think it's Morgan, so it's the only person that we've like pissed off. I know. Oh, they're back. The dog needs me to pick her up on the bed. I'm back. Did I miss anything? <clears throat> uh, Tibbs, you haven't heard anything from, um, the boy, have you? No, I would let you know. Okay. I have not heard anything from anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I just... Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm... I just, I ran into Rami and then I ran into Dean them, so I was uh, having chats. Okay, as long as uh, everything's okay. I'm sorry we couldn't take you into that meeting. I sit out and I don't... I'm used to it. <laughs> it's not an issue. My binocular vision, yes. I'm stinging you. I'm tired. So, yeah, you sound. I'm tired. <laughs> oh. Absolutely not. I know you're being sarcastic. How are you? I absolutely am. I'm terrible. You are extremely terrible. Almost as Aren't bad as me. You're not gonna ask why? It's fucked up. No, 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 actually, okay, no, yeah, what the hell are you? Hey, you need to not Sorry. stop making all these changes on her. Sorry, I can't, Harry. There's too much stuff all at once. I can't handle change. I'm kind of the same. I get it. Yeah, it's overwhelming, it, you know. <laughs> it really is. It can be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, good to see you. We did see uh, Scout and Wallaby on their uh, emerald earlier. Uh, but we went over there to say hi, and they said it wasn't a good time, so hopefully nothing too bad, but... Nah, I think we were just looking for some work, and it didn't go, so it is what it is. Fair enough. Um... Yeah. Are they still around, or have they gone to bed for the night? Uh, Scout's around. This life... It's not infinite, so if we miss him, it's not a big deal. All right, well, either way. Yeah, we'll head that direction. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you and I can have a chat one of these days. Take care. Very, very Bye. fancy drink. Thank they you. Say. I can also... Um, mm -hmm. I can also do this. Oh, um, very, very, very fancy. Wonderful. You are an equestrian, Harry. I learned to do this one. I remember this one. <laughs> Back on my horse into a trash can. Okay. The Van Horn. Oh, we're going Van Horn? I'm... yeah. Uh... Tips, can you call your horse? Yeah. I might have to take a very hard nap. Guys, go on without me. I'll meet you guys there. I'm you sure? Have... Yeah, you okay? I'm have... yeah, I'm gonna have to take a very hard nap. I'm having severe headaches to the point where sometimes I feel like I can barely move. Okay, we'll see you there. Yep. <laughs> Are we gonna back up the entire way? We're gonna back it up. All the back way to Van Horn. Back it up, back it up, back it up. But I'm gonna make it right. That? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. 
Come on, horn. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> if you're not going backwards, you're cheating. Wait, hold on. Wait, is he still? I can't stand still. The horse just won't allow it. He doesn't know. <clears throat> it's fine. <laughs> really? We're gonna make it. Really? We're gonna get sometime you tonight. Just, We're gonna uh, be in Van Horn. So George should do this. You just want to make sure you have control over your horse and hold that control. Oh, th that's all. <laughs> We are. We're, God damn. We're, we're outlaws. <clears throat> we are. Okay, yeah, I'm really Russia over it. I'm really over it. Okay. I'm over it. Over it. Okay, Tibbs. Hope uh, we didn't take too long. No, you were fine. I had plenty of conversations. Excellent. <laughs> so, where are we going to Van Horn? The Sea Scout. Let him know if he wants okay. to get rid of the goods from the job last that were available. Okay. That's all I was going to say to him earlier in the Harlands. They were obviously very busy. So, uh, halfway. I meant to ask this earlier, and I kind of was starting to. Are we still going to be, like, doing bank nope, jobs? Nope, nope. Later. Oh. oh, yeah, I got you. Did you know that beavers can... Why, like birds. Okay, let's hold off on beaver fence. Yeah, I'd heard that. <laughs> she needs to. <clears throat> Sleeping. Hmm? Sleeping. Mm hmm. I'll be honest. I'll actually be honest. If you, you, if you really you, fucking want to you, know. You, yeah, I want pure honesty. All honesty. Hit me with I it. I think that for some fucking reason, the way that your top, the top of your head is shaped and how thin your chin gets, the way that your hair sits on your head makes you look like a fucking balloon, okay? Is that what you, is that what you want to hear? <laughs> it makes you look like a hot air balloon. The top of your head is bulbous and then it just shrinks down to a goddamn point. <laughs> bulbous is an interesting wow. word. All right. You got a big fat head. <laughs> I hope oh this God. doesn't affect business. <laughs> no, no, we're good. Jesus. We're good. Bulbous, right. that's, that's, a, that's a descriptor. Uh-uh. Do I look proportional? If any woman no, don't tell even me. get me started on you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Actually, Dakota, get started on George. Do it, please. Yeah, do it. He's <clears throat> knock him do down I, a peg. Do I not look proportional? Get him. Get him. Just Dakota. don't talk about the nose. It upsets him. I don't care. That's where I was fucking stuck. <laughs> it's huge. It looks like it was made out of clay. <laughs> I'm so fucking stretched. It you look like you're made out of clay and you fell on the fucking floor and it spaced your chin out, but your head stayed the fucking same. It doesn't make any sense. I tried to fix you by putting new buttons as your eyes. Those things are protruding out of your head. When you turn sideways, I can see them first. You freak me out. You're a little, you're a little weird guy. I'm surprised nobody's seen you and locked you in a circus wagon. Throwing tomatoes at you. You also have an alcoholic's nose. It's very red. You should probably get that checked out. So, uh, Dakota, meet George. George, meet Dakota. Uh, Hi, George. Uh, oh, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> so
so uh <laughs> we to be honest, I was just gonna come see you and let you know if uh if you were getting rid of the goods from the job last night were available. That's all oh, you know. Great just, you know, for business. Right, <laughs> business partners. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll I'll see about it. Go balloon heads. Yeah. Yep, hurrah. What was your friend's name again? The one that just fell. George. 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 The guy who's at the back of the I can tell you that. Yep. You know, um, we do business all the time. I'm sure mm -hmm. Hathaway said. Big Tom. Uh, in amazing. fact, we probably have one of the, the strongest friendships in all the crossing, or the longest, I should say, I out of uh, most of the groups out there. So uh, consider yourself lucky to be riding along. A man such as Hathaway and his people. Hey, thanks, Cap. Of course. I, I feel, uh, I feel lucky. Sorta. Of. Good. <laughs> this is sorta of because <laughs> this, uh, uh, because of the the. It's, it's the, like so, yin and yang yeah. right here, isn't it? Look at that. This is Dakota, and then the Scout. Yep. Yep. Keeps like us, uh, keeps yang. us grounded, right? You know, yep. It doesn't let us uh, get too much of a big head, huh? Like yin and yang. Yeah, well, I would have yeah. you to have a giant, yeah. fat, enormous orbital <laughs> cranium. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not, it's not too difficult to code it once in a while to code it. You know, you could just. Oh yeah. She's yeah. not good at that. Did you uh, fall over as a child a lot due to the uh, weight that you were carrying around on your big fat head with your tiny little body? I think it's the beard that really makes it. It's these people. Who are these folks? I, I, I got fucking nothing right now. Who is? Oh, that's, that's uh, Pavel. Pavel oh, that's Pavel. It's Pavel. What the hell's Gravel? How you doing, Harry? You know, oh, I saw Froggy naked once. How's it going, folks? So I did I. Actually, oh, I'm geez. so sorry if they're lost. Howdy. Hi, Pavel. Hi, Gravel. <laughs> How are you? Good. I'm huge, my horse. You see how far he had to end his hand to touch his nose just then? What the, the fuck? This is quite the extension. Yeah. And how they're making fun of him, too. Oh, no, we already did about oh, the yeah. nose. That's because we were yeah. sensitive. It's, yeah. I hey, tell everyone, even when George is at the... Whenever George is at the back of oh. the pack, he's still leading the way. George, please don't start giving <laughs> beaver facts. Oh, Do y'all want to know about beaver no. facts? No, George, please don't. Now, how about business? Uh, <laughs> yeah, business. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that that business. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for Pete to ground, but I'm sure we can gather all that stuff up and then set a meet point and figure out exactly what we can do with all that stuff. Sounds great. I like stuff. Did you uh, happen good. to sell off the old stuff already, or that keep stuff it for a bigger job? Oh, gone. It's all gone. That's good. That's good. I already had stuff before the stuff that you brought me, so uh, you know you I had I had one of those big jobs. Who, me? Yeah. Are you insane? That's a valid question. <laughs> that is a valid question, actually. Could you want to answer it, or you save it for <laughs> another time? Yeah, I asked it. I want answers. <laughs> Are you insane? Are you poor? No. Okay. I have uh, close to $100,000. What the fuck? Yeah. I have $75. So That's a good amount, too. Thanks. Top that. That's still pretty that's a, good. That's a, that's a good amount. That's a great amount. Solid. Come on. I've been fencing so much stuff for so goddamn long. You know, it makes me money. It's, is it all in gems? Wrong. And uh, if so, where are they stored? <laughs> 60 and of it is in you gems. Have guards. Yeah. I do yeah, have, you. uh, I guess these people could count. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I'm fucking storing them, though. That's for sure. God damn it. There's going to be holes Did all over the crossing now because I'm going to be digging. <laughs> yes? Dig away. Um, no, I haven't checked holograms in at least five hours. I wish I was joking. Yeah, no, we didn't, honestly. I really don't. Ch I check Ow. them once a day, usually. Oh, there he goes. His head. You got How did you do that? You keep doing <laughs> it, this, Dakota. What the fuck? Oh, no, this, this has been happening to him all day. Position. Okay, come here. Oh, fuck, what was that? Oh, oh Jesus. Way. He had a headache. Oh, yeah, oh. um, his head exploded. 
like from the balloon Wait, comments. Oh, yeah, from the balloon comments. He's dead now. Parked, like a balloon. Oh, he is. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, yes, George, I'm the new leader. Congratulations. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Don't question I'm... it. Just go with it. Um. I mean, that's what happens what, 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 if he dies. So I mean. Wait, I am or you are? <laughs> Me? Why the fuck would you be? Oh. Oh, I was about to enact a new rule. Uh, you can't make uh, fun of my big nose. <laughs> my normal size nose. My normal size very, nose. My great it's personality. Very proportional. It's very proportional to your face and mm -hmm. your personality. It has, and it has a great and it has a great personality. Yep, yep. Well, yeah, very proportional mm -hmm. to your face and your personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A very stretchy and large, mm -hmm. abundant personality. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> very so normal. Lovely. Very uh. Mm -hmm. normal, normal average. Vibe. Average. With a great proportion. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very. Hey, oh, guess I've never seen in my life. Guess I rolled Hello, again. Oh, damn. Oh, well, that was. My massive was head. Just headaches. See, that's what I said. You're, you're so big a pot. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that was <laughs> it. Why is Dakota out of the room? That's a good oh thing. Oh my god. She carries that thing everywhere. <laughs> okay. The bro was so shock informed that he, you know. It, I'm going to go get my horse and get ready to get him out of Van Horn. Okay, yeah. All Does right. he struggle with that a lot? Um, Only the past, like, two days, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's it's very it's, strange. He still has yet to talk to Sue about it. Gotcha. Okay. Because well, apparently, fair enough. Uh, Sue had the same issue, so. It's, yeah. It's so interesting. Talk to him about it. Um, yeah, it's here. Saint Denis and Emerald Station are the worst. Huh. <laughs> it is very odd. Uh, Must be something in the air. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna get my horse so we can we can just get him out of here. That is All a right. good idea. Is it really that big? Yeah, yeah it is. If I close one eye and squint with one that's still open and tilt my head slightly to the left, it looks pretty normal. Can I ride again with you when we leave? I mean, well, how does it look from the side? Leo. Yeah. Um, wow. She, she's asking you a question. I'm going to assume he said yes. Yeah, you're very wide. Huh? Uh, Hathaway, hop on the horse. Hathaway, get on the horse. Get on the horse. Hathaway, get on the horse. Yeah, yeah. Get on the horse. We're getting out. It's too late. It's too late. Oh. Oh. God damn it. At least, you know, he's a step closer. George, mount up, please. We've seen this before. Grab him by a rope and yoink him out of town as soon as he uh, wakes up. I do not have a rope, so hopefully he's awake enough long enough to get on the horse. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> oh no, um... Hi Zulu, uh, Tilted, if you're here, can you just warn him that we're about to fucking rope him? Get on, get on the horse or I'm lassoing. Get on the, get on the horse or I'm lassoing. Is 
Stop. <laughs> I can't. God fucking damn it. You did the foley. <laughs> this is a mess. No, George, I got him. I got him, George. Just get on the horse. Gonna drag him out, I guess. <laughs> this is like, so I think they had to do this to Dakota. Get on the horse it takes so long before my so, eyes adjust and I can see a goddamn horse. So, it doesn't uh, I work was ready to well. rope you. Scout gave me his rope so I could rope you, actually. <laughs> because apparently they had to do this Dakota while. Yeah. <laughs> my I did. God. I did actually rope you at one point and drag you down the street and then you just disappeared. I, I wasn't even conscious for that. <laughs> It was so bad, I would wait for like 10 seconds and all I would hear is so many voices to the void. I'm... Oh, I thought I was having another one. I heard so many voices from the void just screaming to get out of Van Horn. <laughs> yeah. Was... And then um... then like a million voices saying, get on the horse and the horse. And I was like, what, what horse? I don't see any horses. And then yeah. as soon as my eyes adjusted and I um, could see a horse, yeah. After you I'd have another that headache. second time, uh, Scout gave me his rope to rope you. <laughs> Gotcha. Whew, I'm free. Yeah. Wait, so after I'm your free second of Van headache, Horn. After your second headache, we all mounted up ready to get you out of Van Horn. God damn. All right, so where to and The now? horse doesn't work. If I start having those headaches where, where I keep having them over you. and over again. I'm just keeping a rope. No, 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 no. Just, I'm going to run the fuck away. Just look in every all direction right. to see where the fuck <laughs> I run. Because the horse and shit, it doesn't work. I need to just, I need to run away. My god. Okay, hopefully I'll be good for now. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm like having to cut so. everything short. Get out of everywhere because my head is broken. And the best thing is... Everywhere I've checked, there's no doctors. What the hell's wrong or what, what to do? I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to fix it right now. Have you talked to Sue yet? Nope. God fucking damn it. Can you take the reins for a little bit? Because I still have pain radiating through my fingers. Yeah. Is that, I'm sorry. Is that okay? I feel weird. I'm like ranting about something, but nobody's saying a word other than you. I'm confused. I'm just waiting for you to finish your rant. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you can even bring some water in my hand. It's killing me. Have they just been silently following you around? Have they? Have they? What? Yes, that's, that's what, what they do. What, what do I say? Okay. Whenever it's me you and not you, it's they silently <laughs> follow me. Oh my god. I don't know. Well, what, what am I Alright, Chowski, how are you doing? Tracks? You want me to talk uh, about my meatball? No. What the fuck do you want me to say, man? I don't know. Look, I try not to say shit to piss us off August, okay? I was just expecting some kind of response what? when it, I was talking so much, you know? It's fine. Halfway. Yeah. Have you tried? In order to, to fix your headaches, have you tried stuff in a beaver? Okay, no, I don't need to conversate. I yeah, just remain yeah, silent. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, Hathaway, I do have a question. Yep. 
Have you attempted at all to make sure you're not thinking about Vulcan? Oh, yeah, 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 I did, I did that. Uh, I did that today and I swapped to the other meds I'm and um, I thought good. that might actually work. And, Doing great, and it just didn't. In wild. I thought I was onto yeah, something. Uh, it made okay. me feel good for a bit, but then, yeah. Um, if you want, I could give you some of my medicine. Oh, yeah, what kind of medicine? I'll, I'll give it to you later. Okay, all right, yeah, appreciate it. It's some medicine that makes things a little, a little lighter. You'll, you'll feel better. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you don't have to do what I did and fucking take a hard ass nap. I'm, uh, I've taken so many hard ass naps today, Julio. It's unreal. No, I mean like a hard nap. Yep. You're hard while taking a nap. <laughs> I don't, know where, God, I don't know where I'm going now because <laughs> um, I'm just moving for the sake of moving. I don't like doing that. I need a well, destination. <laughs> Gwen sent me a telegram, but I don't know if she's around. She wants to meet up, but I don't want to bring her and then we get chased by law. So. What? What? She, uh, she's scared of getting chased by law or she's no, very, very much... Uh, I, she wants to meet up with everyone. Uh, but I don't want to bring want her to around. Up with us? She wants me to introduce you to her, I guess. Well, we can meet her. Let's just do it somewhere. Yeah, but why not? It's something to do. Lord, she said. Um, like, wait. What? Why does she want you to introduce us to her? He did say the other day. Or oh, like a week ago, maybe. That what? That she wants us to... Keep talking, Julio. What? Julio, why oh, oh, does she want you, you to introduce us to her? She wants to meet my friends, and she also wants to help us out. Help but us I don't out. want to... Br <sighs> With whenever we need information, she can provide it. I don't it. trust her. I know you don't. Uh, no, don't I mean, that, that, alone, that alone I already don't trust. <clears throat> Anybody who offers information like that has ulterior motives. Well, it doesn't harm us if, uh, if it's, it's one-sided, right? If that's what she as wants as to she do. She gets and... nothing from anybody. Well, we'll see what it is she stands to gain from. Maybe it is just... Making friends, you know? She's had a hard time of making friends, right? Because she's a bit blunt and not. Well, she's a barmaid. Though, so long as she has no information about us or from us, I don't care. This owl's pissing me off. Me too. Gone now. Gone. What the fuck? You were sick. <laughs> huh. Leo, I have oh, a yeah. question. Yeah, fine. Was she pushing for this meeting to meet all of us? <laughs> I wouldn't say pushing, but she seems like she's been wanting to hang out with me recently, but I kind of haven't been wanting to hang out because I'm wanted to shit. And I really don't want to... What's the word I'm looking for? There's something sus up about this. She's a civilian and I don't want to bring... Like, don't get me wrong, we bring Tibbs with us all the time, but... Tibbs I'm also a civilian. civilian. Yeah, but she's a criminal. But, like... But I don't want to end up bringing someone who... Not trying to sound like a complete utter asshole. But someone we're going to have to, like, if we get ch chased by law, we're going to have to negotiate for them to get out. Um, why would she be riding with us? She wants to hang around with Julio. She wants to spend time with Julio. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. 
That's your call to make, Julio. I mean, I'm not. It's why I've told her not right now because I want. <sighs> you know how I'm law is. Law will try to use her <laughs> against me. I'm just a bitch, Julio. So I mean, I don't trust her at all. Uh, but that's me. So I'm just a bitch. If you want to spend time with her and hang out with her, that's fine. Just don't My fucking tell is, her anything is, about the outfit. I don't tell her shit. I barely okay, even speak fine. to her about the bond. She only knows that I'm part of the bond, and that's it. I have no objections to you bringing her around. None. I mean, she Same. won't be privy to anything. If we need to meet with someone, she'll have to kind of stay out of earshot or whatever. But we'll have to be careful that, about what we talk about. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh no, oh no. Yep, me too, what? me too, me too. Oh. I think we all just crashed. Yeah, Chowski, I'm, I'm doing great. Pretty sure we all just crashed. Still waiting for the crash report thing. Still waiting for the stack crash report to finish. Do, 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 do. Be nice if I can just, you know, close this. does not like Gwen. She doesn't trust Gwen. So she's going, I want to give you guys information, just offering that freely like that. August doesn't trust that. She thinks that's just as fuck. She doesn't trust anybody who just outright goes, who, for, you know, having not met a group, all of a sudden just going, I want to give you guys information. I want to help you guys with information. That's extremely fucking sus to August. <clears throat> and she does not trust Gwen at all. that and she's pushing to meet the outfit it's so one thing of like oh you know spending time somebody bringing you around them it's another to go i want to meet your gang i want to meet your gang i want to meet your gang <clears throat> That's why August doesn't trust her. Shit, I just hit my boom arm. We're fine.
cough. Oh, my joints hurt. My bones hurt. God damn. Okay. I want to fix my graphics and put them back up. It's frustrating. I gave you the the alligator bracelet, right? Uh-huh, yeah. The turtle bracelets are, like, my best friend's forever bracelets, you know? Oh. Did my horse fuck off. Him in the face. Yep. <laughs> Your horse yep. bucked my ass a bit and then fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely rude. It was great. <laughs> Definitely hasn't happened to me before. That's never happened to me. That was that was and horrible. And then I fucking ate shit on my tailbone. Ooh. I really like this turtle. I feel like it adds a lot to my horse's like appearance. You know. August. This man quite literally said, "Is that a turtle?" Like he was super excited to see a turtle. He ran over to it, crouched right next to it, pulled his revolver, and shot it in the face. It's actually a pistol. That tricks. Uh huh. Look at us. They are not the beavers of the swamps. They are. They're the beavers of the swamps. Beavers live in the swamps. No, they don't. Beep, the yeah, they do. Beavers. They're turtles. I'm gonna stuff beavers. your beaver hole. My turtle hole? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're good, August. I'm fine. That's another beaver pack. Beavers actually live in the swamps. I think Tibbs is asleep on the back of Julia's horse. You're not? Strong Tibbs. No. You've been silent for 10 minutes. What the hell? Well, I've been quiet. Yeah, Can I not be quiet? Everyone else quiet. No, it, it makes me think you've fallen asleep. I'm listening. It's okay. She's there, she's there. Every time I get she's quiet, everywhere. he gets concerned that I'm upset. And he goes, Oh, but you've been real quiet. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm just, I'm, just listening. I'm just not used to being silent for so long, you know? It messes with my head. Something's trying to upload right now. Aimlessly into the swamp? Yes. I don't know where we're going. Nobody has given me a destination. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the frontier. Uh, Why would you want to go to the frontier? I've never been. Uh, I'm definitely up for it at some point, but not tonight. Not like this late at night, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think frontier might give me some issues. Oh, is it very big heavy? You know, like how the crossing used to be. I mean, I don't know if you've seen old chis like. Um, I can't talk. Like right from now. years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So, like how it used to be until, like, say they added the, like, you know, the the front, like all the the things that they like the camps and things that they built up there, like things like that. Something's trying to okay. upload right now. Pretty sure. It's just the overwhelming nature of all these new things to look at compared to like how the crossing used to be. It's um, it's it's kind of what contributes to these headaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. It overwhelms me, George. That's what it is? Oh, it does. Hmm. Nice task, George. What's what's running Give you a right turtle? now? Turtle helmet. Maybe that, that, that could help me, maybe. Here, here. Uh, red you want to get off here? I can fit, fit it to your head. No, Why is I'm red good. Em? Yeah, I'll just throw it on your horse and. Draining everything right now. Holy shit. I 
Actually, I do, I do need to get food. Though. I like a stew. Mm -hmm. We could uh, we could head down to the speakeasy again, and just down the road from it. Yep, and then uh, head to Telegrams. Uh, not in Saint Denis, but somewhere else. So that uh, we can go to Emerald. Emerald will work. Yeah. Have you? What are the jobs like at the Orange Grove? Eh, they're terrible. Besides, you can make like sixty to eighty bucks, I think, for running so many oranges or whatever. It's it's a bit meh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Someone rides by, and the only thing he just says is beaver. You okay? Yeah, I can't talk again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. August wants to. I gotta raise my game or something, because something's going on. Let me see what's what's up here. Cause for whatever reason, like, yeah, it had to do. It was running like eight things of red M for whatever fucking reason. Alright, let's try this again, and hopefully, hopefully we don't have the same issue that we just did. Waiting for it to load. Yeah, okay, so my stream fucking up has to do 100% is because of Red M. If it doesn't sort itself after I load in, I'm probably gonna just raid cast again. task manager okay it looks fine for now simply draining less than it did before using less of my memory and CPU it uses so much though
Let's fully close something. Okay, so I'm streaming, so it's fine. I just fully closed metal, so we might not be able to click with metal for the rest of the day. That's fine. So we'll at least have it on stream. Loss. Well, is that a that's... skinned alligator over there? Hold on. It is. Okay. Why are you, why are you hopping off the horse? I'm giving George Rufus to ride because he lost his horse. So, what are we doing? Go into the speakeasy to get George. Uh, not George, Julio needs a stew. And then telegrams, so emerald. Okay. We'll go inside really quick. Can you grab me an extra stew, Julio? Yeah. Thank you. It's uh it's 157. Five stops, 15. Uh no, that's not what's it. It's yeah, 15. that's not. Not very good. You want it to be about 190 to be worth it for 15 bottles. One night. I've been doing it for fucking less than that. I mean, anything above 170 is okay, but when it's below 160, that's that's not good. Not for 15 bottles, that's a lot. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, alright. When we go to Emerald, then I might, uh, check the board. That's yeah, fine. No problem. Are you trying to hand me something, George? Seriously, I, I, I cherish my pockets so much. Okay, I'll take those. I'll definitely take those. But now oh. Julio will give you the one he bought me while he's in there. I'm trying to be nice, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. I thought you were just going to give me more shit. Though. You've made it made it like a thing that you just hand me junk. I should probably change when I'm trying to get a chainsaw or just a vibe in here. Um... Sam oh. gave me a rat today. I had, to throw, <laughs> I had to throw it back at him to get rid of it. I'm not getting a handy random shit anymore. Like a boy who cried wolf situation. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. <laughs> can, fine. can we That's have to fine. fix things? Yeah, we're good. Whoa. Oh, give it to give it to George. He just gave me a bunch of stews randomly. God so. fucking <laughs> damn it. Yeah, yeah well, George, George needs them now. Well, we'll be the same, don't worry. I think I'm just irritable right now, so things like that are just getting under my skin. Oh, you know, with all the shit. headaches, I'm irritable. Wait, so, whereas I would normally find that amusing, I'm just I'm just irritable. It's not you, buddy, it's me. I see. Yep. All right. Definitely not a local wagon. August, what is wrong with this? What? <clears throat> Tibbs has been silent like the whole fucking night. I barely she, said a word. She does that. Um, okay. Another strip. 
the right arm, but it's kind of confused. It's like she doesn't want to be riding with us. She doesn't really speak to anyone. Feel like we're just dragging our ass along, place to place. Just do. It's too long to put the name. Damn, you all good. I'm not meant to ask her. I was asking you. Tibbs. Damn it. Tibbs. She's fine. Okay. She's probably just deep in thought. I have uncrustables and go rape ones. I'm so happy. That's right where Hathaway's gonna wake up. Alright. You okay, Tibbs? Yes. Alright. But there's little puddles! <clears throat> I definitely see all the little puddles. Off your horse, George. Call your horse. Also has red hair, not blonde. Oh, does she? Are you up? <laughs> Good to know. see you again, Laura. You haven't been stabbing any cats now, have you? No, not lately. Hello? I only just got out of system. Hello? Yes, hello. Hi. Hi. 
You remember me? I don't know. Who are you? George. Fuck! I do remember you. Hi! Hi, how's it uh how's it going? Pretty good. About to do a bank job. How about you? Mm, doing fine. Not as exciting as a bank. <laughs> Which bank? Sound. I haven't decided yet. Who are you doing it with? Uh some friends. What, what do you mean, who am I doing it with? You used to ride with us. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh... Still the same people? Pretty much, yeah. Mm. So that Lynn's in Sisica, so... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? What do you do? What? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Let's get what that with raw deputies. I had a fella looking for him today. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck finding him. He's in Sisica. Yeah. Well, uh, you, uh, go do your bank job. Good luck. Alright. Y'all be safe. Just came down to see if that was CJ or not. And I kind of oh. kind of have to kidnap her. Have fun with that. What you have to kidnap Maybe. CJ for? What CJ do? Uh, she didn't do anything. I mean, I'm not gonna hurt her. It's more about, you know, principle, I guess. Deputy Sweeney oh, begged me not to damper her, so. Are uh, you one of those like tenables? No, no. That's all they preach about, is principle. Yeah, well, I rob deputies for their guns. That's fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Well, y'all be safe. Pleasure you to meet too. You, Laura. <clears throat> nice to meet you as well. Oh, is this this awkward moment where we say goodbye and we all go the same direction? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Going to the telegrams. <laughs> yeah. God damn, I'm glad I don't have so many more. It's when the Easterners start using the word comprehensible. She's not a Western outlaw, like. Fuck. Who you ever hear from the Western Outlaws and Principal and shit? Oh, Principal. Hello, didn't we come here for you to do something? Yeah, I said right, so I mounted up. Oh no, you're good. They carry on. You could have totally gone away without her knowing it was you. Yeah, I could have. I don't know. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter if she knows it's me, I guess. Not really, but... I mean, I look completely different from when I first came to the crossing. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I am. Oh, she 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 creeps me out. <clears throat> she seems like uh, the type to talk a little bit too much about what she's doing and wants to do, hoping to. Uh, <clears throat> Impress isn't the right word, but it's the closest thing to, uh, I guess, impress. And show how much of an outlaw she is. 
down. <clears throat> That's the impression I got. That was... I'm just giving us slightly too much information. I mean, yeah. More than we were asking for. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, we could have been. We could have been law. She's like, I oh, think yeah. I missed most of the conversation, so I have no idea what she, she actually us, said. She told us she was on her way to go. On her way to bank. go to a bank, John. She told us she's planning on kidnapping CJ. She told us why she likes to kidnap deputies. <laughs> He told us specifically who the gang is around and who's in Siska. Which that's normal, but <clears throat> alright, Julio. Huh? We 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 came here for you. I'm annoyed. <clears throat> yeah, I'm okay. annoyed. Why are you annoyed, Julio? Hold on. Still no really quick tips, so I can get on this. Oh! Oh, yeah, just that was right perfect. <laughs> yeah. So this comes across as like I maybe this is it at surface level but this comes across as I've done my own crimes my own sins won't be much longer before so this comes across as she wants to ride with us she wants to come along to the she's pushing to meet us because she wants to ride with the gang hello hey, hello That's that's how that hotel room comes boat. across to me. <clears throat> it's uh, it's from Gwen. I think. Mm. Oh, yeah, makes sense. oh, yep. I take it. Hello. Yeah, I know you're still on the server, or yeah. you're probably loading back in. <clears throat> uh, give me one second. Hello. Thank you for the raid. I don't know if you can hear me. Hello, I play August. Obviously, we're here, we're vibing, we're doing things. I'm assuming OBS is fucking you again. But I hope you had a good stream otherwise, besides all the crashes, you know? I hope everybody enjoys, you know, seeing the rest of how tonight goes. Hopefully. That horse is about to get run over. Hello, hello. I can do a little shout out. Thoughts. <laughs> um, so the middle part that she said, you know, I've done my own crimes, I've I've done my own sins, I'm gonna end up behind bars. <laughs> that confirms my suspicion. She's not pushing because she wants to meet your friends, she's pushing because she wants to ride with the gang. Yeah, she wants to be a pretty, you know, whatever, be shown off, this and that, but <clears throat> I don't know what you said to her to get that response. <clears throat> but to get um, that response, I, yeah, I told, I, I, I I told her no, that... Oop. I told her no, that no, not at this moment. Because we are wanted so to hell. <clears throat> okay, so... As I was saying, I don't know what you said to get that response. Uh, I'm assuming, well, now I know what you said to get the response, but that, uh, in the middle of what she said. 
um, mm -hmm. basically tells me uh, that she wants to ride with <coughs> ride with a gang, ride with an outfit. She's not just pushing because she wants to only meet your friends. She wants. That I don't know why she thinks you are the person to talk to if she wants to ride with a gang because you are not the person to talk to to ride with us. But, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that tells me she wants to ride with the gang. Um, also, I wouldn't worry too much about having a civilian with us. Because when James is around, we usually have Brianna around too. And Brianna's not necessarily a civilian, but she is in the eyes of the law. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're already at the point of if Brianna's around, we make sure she gets out of there. We don't have to negotiate with law, we just say, hey, we have a civilian, we're letting them leave. And it's simple as that. So if you want her to spend time with you, I don't trust her, but it's your choice. Um, just know that that telegram, I'm going to show it to Hathaway when he wakes back up. Yeah. That telegram, to me, says that her ulterior motives is she wants to be part of this. It's, it's not just because, oh, I want to be, you know, at your side doing this issue. She wants to be doing everything. She wants to be with us, with us. Whether it's part of the outfit or not part of the outfit, that telegram just tells me it's more than just wanting to spend time with you. Yeah. It, it tells me, you know, she wants in on the gang. Uh, Hathaway, reach out to me. Uh, I'm gonna show you the telegram Gwen just sent Julio. The middle bit, it's two lines, okay? Um, tells me that she wants more than just to spend time with him, she wants in on the outfit. And that's, that's what it says to me. Cause it's, you know, I've done many times. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to ask this, like, why are we putting off going and talking to her? Why don't we just yeah, talk I, to this I don't, woman? I don't know why either. Um, I just told Julio, you know, when we have James around, we have Brianna, who is a civilian, so it doesn't really matter much. <clears throat> I'm not putting it off. I'm not putting anything off. Um, <clears throat> I'm just saying the telegram she sent. That middle section tells me that she wants to be in on this and she wants to ride with us. Uh, it doesn't sound like that. I mean, she's... It sounds like that to me. Is I've, you know, done my own crimes, I'm gonna end up behind bars, blah blah blah. It sounds a lot to me, like, uh... Like it sounds to me to like she's it. trying to get you to stop hiding her away, Julio. That's what it sounds like. She doesn't want you to worry about her well-being enough that you don't spend any time with her. But, again, it's up to you. Like, here's my point of view of it, though. Eva, you want us to meet with her, you want us to talk to her, you want to spend time with her. Or you don't. And if you don't, then... I want to keep her completely separate from this life. Then that's fair. Then... It's why... It's kind of why I don't want to. Have you told Fine. her that? Or have you just said, no, it's not a good time? Here's the I've thing, though. I've told her that before. I've told her that I hope you understand that the moment that you get pulled into my life, whatever happens to me... Oh People find out about her. Like we're gonna go after her too. And I told her straight up to her face. I'd rather not pull you in this life because it's something that is very unpredictable. She's stubborn. <laughs> Either you want us to meet her or you don't, though. That's the thing. Like. I wouldn't mind you guys meeting her, but her riding with us, I do not know. That, I'm on the fence about. No, if you want us to go meet her, let's go meet her. She'll be at Valentine's so she normally stays. 
We can put our horses behind this one. Uh, you give people the benefit of the doubt quite a bit. You're much more trusting than I am. Trust them until they give me a reason not? Not always the safest option. And then again, I Do missed it. Do you know that. the saying, you forgive, but you'll never forget? I said that's not always the safest option. I've been talking quietly. Yep. I'm at that point with her. I have no reason not to trust this person as uh, I'm not going to get myself all paranoid about it or anything until I have a reason not to. Okay. It's your choice. I'm not getting paranoid. If you go around I just don't not... trust him. Explain though, what, what, what's the um, reasoning? That, because she's pushing so fucking hard to be riding with a gang that she knows nothing about. Two, because she openly is going to people she's never met. Let's let's do and... one other thing. One, I think she's pushing to spend time with Julio. I don't think she cares about riding around with us. I think she wants to spend time with Julio. That's what that sounds like to me. Okay. Because uh, he's always with us, so she wants to ride with us because that's her way to spend well, time. She's with not him. riding riding with us. I told um, you what happened no. to me the other day, right? Halfway. Two. All right, uh, give me a minute, George. Here, here, here. Her randomly going out of nowhere for people and two people that she's never fucking met maybe met once that she doesn't know a gang that she's not a part of and doesn't know going oh yeah i want to give you guys information uh or just like collect information for you that tells me a she wants to be a part of it and b i don't fucking trust her because why would she randomly give people she doesn't know information <coughs> and that again me she's i'm, I'm just looking at that like her. He's, information yeah, makers. either she is trying to do that, or, again, she's just trying to make herself seem useful enough to, for us to like her or want her to be around Julio or whatever. I don't know. No, it's not it's... a choice about whether or not she's around Julio, and I don't like her trying to shove herself into an outfit that she's never met. She's not going to just get into the out. That's not I'm something. I'm not saying she is, but she's trying to insert herself. Is what it comes across as. I mean, my experience of this one was her being an asshole at a poker table. So, I mean, I'm not exactly a fan anyway. But I have Every no reason not to I've trust had a her yet. With her, she's been rude. <clears throat> and yep, unpleasant. I agree. I've had more than just one conversation with her. She's come across as full of herself, and right now, I mean, on all the interactions that, I've had with her right now, it that comes telegram alone as, says she's yeah. full of herself. <laughs> and that, you know, all of those tells me she's. It comes across as her trying to insert herself where she doesn't fucking belong. <clears throat> Making sure we sell the voice. Billy Joe's here. That was Tex. <laughs> I did. It's beautiful, like a like a watermelon. It's a pretty cup. Something. It's a very mm. pretty. I'm doing that. Doing okay. Yeah, doing okay. Cool. 
I'm just in here making fun of the poker players. That tracks for you. Mm -hmm. Why you, you do, doing, doing nothing of fucking use, whatever is that you're doing. That is correct. Nothing. That's why I just had a headache. Did he leave? Had he? Headache. Did he just leave or did he? No, I, I think, think he, he had a headache. Sick. Nice to see you, Mick. How long are you but, on there? Hey, how are you? I'm okay. Good to see you. It might just be you, kid. Too much alcohol. Yeah, it is. I am drinking tonight. Yeah, yeah. So what y'all up to? Just stopping by, stopping by. Not terrible. Too bad. No, that's Behaving. terribly rich for my blood, kid. No, right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Terribly rich. Ten dollar, I can't. I'm behaved <laughs> and such. Yeah. Ten dollars for the last card. Shit, that's a steal. Oh, I try, try. I'm honestly, I don't know what's going on, but my head feels heavy today. So I'm very, right? very slow with what we're saying. It's really odd. As opposed to the days where you were quite quick and. Sharp-witted, Mr. Mavin. I was chasing Seems like hey, people are I heard a, a, it, I heard a really cool rumor the other day. I heard that Mick was addicted to... Ah, ah never mind. She's upstairs. I'm just following y'all around, apparently. How did so, apparently how that? upstairs and being oh, dragged okay. up like fucking wayward children. Okay. I don't know if he said to follow, but okay. Why not? I mean, I'll start to him. I'm, I'm always loud. The corner I like what you did with your hair. Beard hair, that is. It's a pleasure to see who you roll around with. Mm -hmm. Well, and when you get out of town, don't want you know. Don't want him to have headaches again. Oh yeah, he's had one. We'll yeah, I've time. had one already. Yeah, let's see if it happens again. I'll have to run the fuck away. I'll run towards okay. that house over there far away enough yeah. well it would certainly be safer than sorry that's true it could be uh you all around town as well you don't want to run into them give me a moment oh okay nobody okay. likes sorry though <laughs> i'd be happy to move this somewhere else Where yeah sorry i'm the uh last person of our party comes back i'm uh i'm just having bad headaches when i'm around for a little bit too long it's uh irritating but George, wait for Tipsy to get back. I'm okay right now. Get out. Right, well, as you will know, I'm Lady Gwyneth Lynch. Quite nice know. to meet you, Gwen. What title wow. I'd give myself to Julia, but. It was certainly something. Man, it's hard to hear y'all laugh. Can y'all speak up a little bit? Yeah, no. It's best to move. Yeah, I'd rather move. Okay. Be safe, Billy Joe. You've George done Mike. it now, Billy. We're running away. I've done it, Billy. Boy, howdy. I'm such a bad boy. Y'all have a wonderful time. Come, come <laughs> up colder sometime. We'll have a chicken. All right. He's really obsessed with having a chicken in Coda, right? Oh, sorry, Tibbs. She ignored every fucking thing I said to her. I said hello, she didn't say hello back. I asked her a question, she didn't answer. 
game, she's only actually interested in speaking to Julio until the last bit when she addressed us. Put my horse around back. <laughs> I'm putting the horse around back. Let's just go, uh, let's go a little bit further, like up on the hill to the right or something. That's fair. Do what you want. Did... Mm -hmm. Sorry, before we come up here rather than stick around close yeah, to the entire... I know. Not only that, fucking having people eavesdrop too annoys yeah. the fuck out of me. Yeah, I know Billy's just trying to be funny or whatever, but it's a pain in the ass. Oh no, in my eyes you can get shot for eavesdropping, I'm sorry. That's just how I am. That's fair enough. That you wanted oh. to meet us. Yes, I wanted to see who really rode around with these days. Let me point one thing straight though with you all. I don't care to join any gang, any group. Nothing like that. I just wanted to see what kind of family you all were. And it seems like you're very tightly wound. <clears throat> and I'm glad Helio has found such a family. We met once, right? So, and I believe I've met Miss August here once. <clears throat> More than once. Yet you have such a disdain for me. <clears throat> oh, I'm just like this. Keep that hard shell. Can't any more of it. I'll be fully honest, I don't trust you. Maybe when I <laughs> do, I'll be a little bit nicer, but for now, I don't trust you. <clears throat> oh, I don't expect any of you to trust me. It's quite alright. I don't mind whatsoever. Not here to join you on any runs or anything like that. Well, I don't even have to join you at all if you don't want me around. Quite all right. I guess this is not like I uh, choose to trust people until they give me a reason not to, so I don't have any problems there. I'm just not sure why you'd need a sword. I'm lonely. Yeah. I have no friends of my own. I've got to be honest with you, Gwen. Uh, Last time I met you, I decided I didn't like you. <laughs> and that's also all right. And across the poker table, I tried to give you some advice on how to poker, and uh, it was very brash and rude. You told me you stopped listening five minutes ago, and you didn't really care. Mm. Yes, it was. All right. Rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. I did not mean for that. It's a playful man yeah. of mine to be a bitch. Well, playful in my eyes, rather rash in others. I do not blame you for your disdain for me. I don't have a disdain, I just, the uh, first impression was pretty bad, you know, it uh, doesn't mean I disliked you or whatever, it was just, I don't know, it's just rude, that was it. I'm glad uh, you and Julio are friends. Whatever it is that you're doing, uh... I guess I'm, uh, I guess I'm just a bit confused why you want to meet a bunch of outlaws if you have no interest in a bunch of outlaws, you know? It's... Honestly, I'm not too sure myself. 
And you're right to wonder why, but I have no ulterior motive. I'm just bored. And by the sounds of it, you all know the business. But I've been talking to you, Leo. In all my words. I'm going to be honest with you, Gwen. I don't keep secrets from the gang that I'm with. And I hope you understand that. <laughs> And I'm glad. I'm glad you do that. I really am. Still... Seeing such a strong brotherhood, it's heartwarming. It gives me trust that in this crossing, <clears throat> there can be such a thing. You can know that Julio is safe around us. Kind of what we do. That's the whole point of why there is a gang in the first place. Keep others safe and have protection around ourselves. And uh, it's been made evident as he has not been caught yet. He has not. But I mean, yet. That's, yeah, the optimal word. Mm, no guarantee we're is... all gonna stay free forever or whatever, but. Unfortunately, it is an inevitable at some point. More than likely. Unless he goes and throws his head under a rock somewhere, that's about the only way he's. <laughs> Gonna stay free forever, you know. So. That's not happening. <laughs> yeah. I doubt that would ever happen to him. I have a question for you, and I wanted to ask you in front of everybody. Go ahead, Leo. John Williams. John Williams. I know that name. What why? Why was he pestering me about you? He seems interested. Can't say I share the mutual feeling. We talked for business at some point, but that was about it. After that, I've kind of brushed him off. He seems to have finally gotten the message. Why? Because he called you my ex. Your ex. We don't even have an official title yet. Yeah, I know. But Julio's I'm playing this the game because Julio's sleeping my, with Arya. In front of them and to you. You know how I am. I know. You know how the you are. oath that I gave. <laughs> but if you betray me, you know what I'll do to you. Julia. That is a conversation we should have alone. Yeah, I understand that. I don't want to be here. But I, now this I'm is so kind of strange. To point. Trust. I don't want to be here. <laughs> that is one thing I have vowed to myself. Mm -hmm. like, so, uh, about, about that wager. Um, <laughs> can we step over here? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to give you two in a second. <laughs> don't yeah. laugh. She can hear you laughing. So, whisper, 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 everybody, whisper. whisper. Um, I'm going to yell very loudly. <laughs> Stop. So, so here's my thing. I'm making a wager on whether Julio ends up with Arya or Gwen. Arya. Is he sleeping? He's sleeping with Arya right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Arya seems like from the choice. This woman seems. Wrong for Julio. Oh, in see, my see, and you're like, oh, I mean, she's fine. I mean, she's fine. No, I don't fucking like her. I mean, <laughs> anyway, yeah, let, me, oh, let me set up she's... the wager page. Don't, don't look at them. How's the wager gonna work? Gotta be like options, right? There's only two options. Wait, wait, yeah, we, so could, we could do a one. wager. We could do a wager of uh, who breaks up with who first. Oh, Gwen or Julio? Yeah. What do we want to make it? Which one he ends up with, or who breaks up with who first out of this? Uh, <laughs> what, what do you think, halfway? If it sounds like what I'm figuring over there, we should make it how long until Julio shoots Gwen? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, <laughs> I give it two hours. Two hours? Oh, is that the wager we're doing? 
No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's horrible. It's, it's a terrible just, way. So, so, so are we way, doing which lady he ends up with, or are we doing who brings Yeah, I'll do, I'll do which lady. I'll do which yeah, lady. Yeah, I'm gonna vote Ari. I'm voting Ari. You're gonna need a third column. Uh, uh, I'm voting, I'm voting Neva. <laughs> I'm going 50 on Ari. 50 on Neva. Did he threaten to kill her? I think that's what was happening over there. Yeah, he said. That's, that's going to be a very <laughs> long-lasting relationship. If she betrays him, he'd kill her and all this. Oh, my God. That's oh. what I had to walk away. When, when I heard that, I, I kind of had to walk away. Ah. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> all right, wow. Tim, so what was your wager? Uh, I voted Ari. That's the way. Neither. So, <laughs> uh, Are we doing 50? George. Yeah, 50. Uh, 50 on Ari. <laughs> George for Fox. Sorry. <laughs> It's fine, man. It's fine. <laughs> I kind of want to hear, like, what's going on over there now. Yeah, I kind of do, but at the same time, I was just like, it's so should fucking I, awkward. I should I do the snake over there? Like, dress no. no. Definitely don't, don't. should. <laughs> said shit. No, no let's, let's, let's not ruin this moment for them. This he's gonna fucking kill her. Yeah, it's gonna be a great entertaining moment for us yeah. too. What, what the fuck? Might be part of the moment, I suppose. Who did you oh. vote for? You can't ask us all and then not oh, show. Oh, Arya. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um. Should I get in my bear outfit and just no, like no, George? Let's just leave it be because it's all it's all <laughs> uncomfortable now. <laughs> He should get his bear up in the tree line over there. He should sneak into the tree line and just come bounding out. That's exactly. It push her off. Uh, see, here's the thing: is this is already uncomfortable enough. Let's just let's just leave it at, at its it's level. It's even of more uncomfortable when there's evil cackling coming from Julio. <laughs> yeah, <right now>. No, he was, he, was, he was laughing like. <laughs> I need to get out of here. I don't know what's going on. This is, this is the most so, uncomfortable thing was, I've was ever been a part okay of. Was everything okay in the saloon? Because Vic was there. Change the subject, please. The, I don't distract us. Know. Okay. What, what do I know oh, about yeah. Mick? Like, he, what? What's he gonna do? Be disappointed with me? Fuck him. I'm mad right now. <laughs> what happened? What, what nothing. I Literally nothing happened. For a while, I've been playing poker, and I said, "All right, well, I'm heading out." Okay. Uh, also, I hate that you could hear me laughing as I was like, "We're gonna give you two subscribes." No, well, no. I, don't, I don't even know what you just said. Can I be honest? So. I, I'm sorry. When I say fuck him, I, I don't really mean it, but I do at the same time. I'm just. Oh, she figures out of the evil cackle. It's... I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> and it's not because of any. This is so uncomfortable. I'm in a bad mood, and it's because of all of you. No, oh, that's fuck. Fine. I don't I'll shit. make it up being to you. Being a bad <laughs> mood, Hathaway. Wait, what? I'll, wait, what? It's it not because of August. Me. I was just being August. A I'm in a bad no. mood because I. Why don't you make it up to me? I'm, <laughs> I'm in a bad mood because I'm having headaches. All right, I'll shut up. Whatever. Halfway. Yeah, I'm, I'm halfway. Just, halfway. Well, halfway. 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 August, you asked me, and I said what? yes the one time, and it like made that you blush. Panicked. So I don't know. No. <laughs> so um, all I'm gonna say is I told y'all I'd be black her. <laughs> no, no. Uh, can I'm... we can we backtrack? You said something about something, and you said it in such a high pitched squeal. I didn't. Oh get it. Um, it, um, I hate that you could hear me laughing as I was telling them I'll give you two a moment because I just hear George going, "Stop laughing." Oh. <laughs> you, you did fucking laugh in front of their faces. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it was so uncomfortable. It was a very nervous, awkward no. laugh. <laughs> when when he said, so um, when, when he like threatened to kill her, that's when I had to walk away and be like, can we, can we move? I didn't know whether to laugh or cringe or cry. I think all three. Just, it was, it was a, it was a very awkward, nervous laugh. I just, I was so uncomfortable. Should I wave? <laughs> no, George, don't wave. I feel like we should just fucking leave. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe we should. We'll just tell Julio to telegram us when he's done. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Like, what if she tries to murder him? What if he tries to murder her? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh, do you want me to go no? Um, how the ways that we want to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh, this is the most I've heard any of you speak in, like, an hour, so let's stay here and bitch about them instead. Yeah. Okay. I've been talking to you all night. Uh, oh, am I, am I too close? I'm sorry. Hey. hey yes. Hey, um, <laughs> you're missing something. I am? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can hear him having to lean forward to do it. I could just snake over there. Please do Keep not. <laughs> Keep into their conversation. Go do it, George. Just... Did you get a lipstick on my cheek again? Is that it? I Look at him go. I'm just a snake. <laughs> Sissing and everything he's sissing. <laughs> oh my god. He's coming back. Come over here, come join the conversation. I heard. Come, come I heard. Conversation. I heard so, a couple of things. Um, she said she's not afraid to kill a man. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. She said it in a really over dramatic, like, heroic tone. I'm not afraid to kill a man. <laughs> talking about. <laughs> talking about. About law. Dibs, come over here. Julio was talking about honor or something like that. <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, I, but the, the main takeaway was, mean, was her saying in a bravado tone, I'm not afraid to kill a man. Can I, can I inch my bet to Gwen? Uh, sure. Really? They're both so overly dramatic. Both, they, uh, they see each other. Wrong. Should I sneak over and try and over here? Here, I'll do it again. I didn't actually want to change. I'm kidding. Let's just let's just leave it with Neva. I don't think he's gonna end up with either of them. You don't know that, do I? It's like we've sent George on reconnaissance missions to, to bring back the info. Oh, 
funny though. <laughs> I, I snaked by it and she said, How can this fucking snake go away? Oh, I, don't, I, don't I like think her. they're on I would you. kick you, George. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think they're on to you, George. Wait, Maybe. they are? Maybe I need to go in my bear outfit. Mm -hmm. No, don't go. Don't go into town. Just stay here. It's fine. Maybe I, sh maybe I should go in my bear outfit and pounce on the both of them. No, I, it's fine. It's it's fine. It's sure. So I feel like I, I feel like based on like what George overheard and how the conversation was going before we walked over here, I think they're gonna have very angry sex later. <laughs> yes, agreed. <laughs> uh, am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. You're wrong. Wait, it's both so some fuck? Good. Yep. You're like, fuck, fuck? I yeah. think so. No, George. I feel like it's like really aggressive, angry sex, though. I feel like it's like, it's like a hate fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I mean, both. Like, Very angry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not <laughs> imagining her being like, I'll kill a man. And Julio threatening to kill her while they're fucking. <laughs> I, I can see it. I can see it. I can't. Uh. <laughs> you broke Tibbs. Wait, she's getting close. Tibbs are close to the cliff. <laughs> I mean, she went, tell she me went I'm wrong, to though. dramatically look off the edge of the cliff. Tell me I'm wrong, though. I'm just hoping you're wrong, you know? No, not telling yet, just I hoping. Mean, I, I can just imagine really being like, Alright, you. I'm gonna kill you. And her being like, Oh, I've killed before. Maybe I should snake it Have over you, here. George? Have you killed before? Uh. How did it feel to have some blood on your hands? I'm trying to think of the stupid questions fucking Clancy used to ask people that were... Because whenever whenever I rode with Clancy and them, anytime we stopped talking to someone, it'd always be like, don't get stabbed. And then everyone thought that it was like some kind of, you know, <laughs> foreshadowing to what this man was going to do. If she and shoots you guys George, are... I'm fucking shooting her, by the way. If she what? If she shoots George because he's doing this nonsense, I'm shooting her. No, shoot, Orange. Pretend like I'm not even here. I would shoot George right now. I would have shot him along to go. I mean that in the nicest way. I think they don't even care if anyone's listening. It was just so awkward that I wanted to walk away. They were gonna have it out right in front of us. The argument that is not angry. I mean, I wouldn't, stuff. I wouldn't put it past them to have the very angry hate sex in front of us too, to be honest. That would be quite unexpected, I'll be honest. Okay, it's getting bad. What? How? Why? What? She's talking about how Julio keeps like hurting her emotionally and they're arguing about, don't tell me that. Like, mm. Oh. They need to fuck. My god. Uh, okay. Anyway. No. I don't think that's what they need. I think they need to figure out what they are and go from there. I think they need therapy. If, if Julio ain't. I can set it, that up. Well, I, I guess I'm confused because the way Julio is talking to her in front of everyone seems like he doesn't care about her in that sense. And if that's the case, that's perfectly fine. I mean, it is. he's in his right to, you know, move on and do what he wants. What's but confusing, though, is when he was speaking earlier, he was saying about how much he cared about keeping her away from this kind of life and everything. So kind of conflicting actions. Is that what 
yeah. One second he says he cares and he doesn't want her riding around with a bunch of outlaws and she gets hurt or whatever. And then right in front of us, he's telling her he's going to kill her if she ever betrays him and all this kind of... It's, it's, it's really weird. I'm lost. <clears throat> you know, you make a good point that it's real confusing. Yeah. Well, that's what I was trying to get at, Asili, is it is really confusing. And, I mean, I don't give a shit. Uh, Julio can like, love, fuck whoever he wants. But, uh... This seems really, uh... Oh god. Oh, I guess dangerous. Right. You done and then to kill each other and all that kind of stuff? Mm-hmm. Alright. Maybe I'm sure you can. Yep, I'll go what I need to say out. What? Oh, she was telling me, um, She's been learning tonics. I told her we don't do tonics. No, the herbs, don't. though, go for a pretty penny alone. Personally, we don't touch them. We had someone take something real bad during the job. I mean, there's lots of people out there you could sell them to, but we don't take that risk. Well, if you trust the person giving it to you, then you wouldn't be risking it. It doesn't fucking yeah, matter. Just... Any tonic that comes out yeah. of the job, the person's off the fucking job. Yep. Yeah. We don't do tonics. Uh, doesn't matter how much I trust someone, <laughs> the person who gave this other guy a tonic before was trustworthy. Just one thing goes wrong when you're making that, and it doesn't do what it's supposed to. It does something horrendously wrong. We just don't yeah. touch him. <clears throat> she is pushing. I mean, it's a good business to go into. There's plenty of people out there that want to. <clears throat> just not us. Yeah. I hear you. No. I have nothing else to offer. Julia was saying something about you offering a bunch of information or something that was, was intriguing. Yeah. I work behind a bar. I hear and see all. You work in the Smithfields? With... Uh, no. Oh, where do you work? Is that the Smithfields? No, the, the main one, right there in Valentine. Yeah, yeah, I work in that one. Sorry. I, okay. I've never heard it called that, so... Despite working there for as long as I have. Okay, yeah, it's uh, kind of written across yeah. the front of the building. That's why I call or it that. She's, she's pushing for an inn. Some people still call it the Smithfields, some people rename it, but they've just never taken the sign down or changed it or anything. Well, what is it you want to know? I guess I was just more curious for offering, because Julio said something about you having information to offer the... Um... She can basically get information from anyone within the bar. She can get them talking. It's not really hard well, it to takes do us that. Pretty I mean, you've watched me do that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it goes out the way again. Something difficult. <clears throat> Yeah, some people are a little bit difficult than any, most, though. Do you have any current information that we might not have heard otherwise? Well, the thing is, I don't know who is with you and who's not with you. I see so many gangs come in and out, especially ones that are preparing to rob the bank. For example. Have you heard anything about us? About you? No. That Everything's was... been quite silent on you. You know, except... Oh, good old namesake here, Julio. Bob buzzes with his name. Why? Because everyone hears about you. And half your old friends go in that bar constantly. <laughs> but law's been extra tricky lately, I can tell you that much. Okay, give us information about law. How have they been tricking lately? Well, it seems like they're starting to arrest people for the dumbest of reasons. They arrested Billy Joe for the most minute of things. I don't remember what, but it was minute. I know that much. 
Okay, so they arrest people over nothing. The sniffing people out. They do that. Seems like it's a little more than what it used to be, though. My worry is, is that they're going to start... <laughs> My worry is, is that they're going to start officially bounty hunting. Who are? Oh, uh, the law. There used to be a bounty hunting... Well, I would have called him a gang, but... They used to work with law. Yeah. We don't... August doesn't trust her at all. Became their own little outcast group. Who is that? Oh, fuck. Sorry. Started with a V. It doesn't ring a bell to me. Oh, this is where I'm trying to go. How long have you been around the Smithfields, When? Three, four months. Why'd you ask? I'm just curious why I hadn't seen you in there before. You've been I... going there for a very long time. My hours were sporadic. Okay. Obviously, I know Cade. I know Clara. I know there's a couple of new younger guys that I'm not really sure of their names, but I see them behind the bar sometimes. Okay, so I just, nine and a half of them. Yeah. I just don't recall seeing you there, that's all. Yeah, August does not like her. This is super fucking sus. What I can tell you is that there have been many gangs that I've been screwing around with in the north. But they're like, uh, what was it? It was the Dirty Boys. Of West. Even. Oh. It was, it was a while ago, so it's probably not their name anymore, but the Quills. We're friends with the two that you've mentioned so far. Apart from that, though, not much else has honestly been said. You heard anyone mention August's name recently? <laughs> Uh, they only mention it in passing, but I have heard it mentioned. <clears throat> They've not by him. Trying to think. Old acquaintances, it seems. People who normally play, play around the poker table. Okay, do you know the names? Because whether it seems like old acquaintances or not, I'd like to know names, because you could be wrong on who my old friends are, considering you don't know me. Apologies, <clears throat> didn't mean to make assumptions. All I know is that I've probably been around you once in a while. I've, I remember faces. Slightly a lynch gang. <laughs> I say gang. Who are you, sir? Who? The people Lynch was with? You're talking about Edgar? No, not Edgar. Who? The other ones that would live up in Kota. Billy Joe, Fenton. Well, Fenton really wasn't up there, isn't Strawberry, but. You're talking about them? Yeah. Uh. But it was a long time ago, so I can't. What will be a long time? I do mean a few weeks. You haven't heard anyone mention August <laughs> recently. Last few not days. Not being done. Safe job. No, I said almost fire. I wish. 
Okay. Your no names problem. have faded out into obscurity. Except who is. Apparently my name's always being fucking mentioned. Well, yeah, because you. you were good friends with the others there. If you hear my name mentioned by anybody besides, say, Billy Joe, Tex, Kid, that group, uh, anybody mentions my name, you send me a telegram with what they said and who it was. I'll let you know. <clears throat> let me know when you're ready for my telegram. Oh, uh, uh, yes. You kind of need that in order to let me know. Well, indeed. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, Kentucky Yellow 368. You said low? <laughs> Kentucky Yellow KY 368. Got it. If it's a courier, specifically pay attention to that conversation. Not that I can do. I can just certainly do the same for everyone else as well. <laughs> Since they've been mentioned the Hathaway gang. It's, it's the called bond. the Bond. Oh, my apologies. The Bond. No, you were right the first. People know it as the Hathaway gang for some fucking reason. Hathaway and Co. Why are you on the namesake? Hathaway and Co. Yep. That's what all the reports say anyway. <laughs> I don't care what people say about me necessarily, but we do need to listen out for things about August right now. I understand completely. Thanks. Also, um, there's one fellow we'd like to know everything you hear about. Certainly. What's his name? George McFinnigan. McFinnigan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's spelled M C F I N N. I G A N. You hear anything about a George Finnegan? We want to hear about it. Where does whereabouts does he normally reside? Do you think? Uh, there's Lamont? like a beaver den out in the swamp or something. <laughs> he usually goes by Beaver. It's been beaver. uh yeah, been giving us real problems. An odd sort. I think he might have um. I'm gonna try digging a hole under the slaughterhouse, something weird like that. <laughs> hmm. Well, definitely keep posted on that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it seems like I'd have to travel to Lemoyne a little more often. Yeah. I mean, you don't have. I mean, just around the bar, Gwen, like, you don't have to go out of your way for it, you know, just, uh. I have nothing else to do. Fair enough. There's a beaver dam down there. Yeah. Usually some... likes to hang out near there. He, uh, Somewhere near there. Hangs out under bridges, too. August is being such a bitch. Yeah, apparently he likes to stuff them. What trouble has he caused? Well, I it's not. So, I news, mean, but... he's just, he, he just might be trouble, so we just. If you hear about it, yeah, right. exactly. That's why it's the you know the secondary to the whole August thing. Don't, don't trouble yourself too much. Just if you hear about him, you know we'd like to know it. I don't want to be a bitch and be like it's also not your business. Will do. Anyone else I should keep an eye out or ear out? <laughs> I'm not I'm sure. That's is my name. Yeah, yeah, that's the main thing we're we're curious about right now. Your name will remain top priority. George, the beaver bitch of Lemoyne. My last name is Green, 
there's multiple Augusts in the crossing. Ostrich Venus, thank you for the follow. I see. But, um, yeah. Specifically, if you, if you hear August in general, just let us know anyway. But, specifically looking out for my name. You have my word. <laughs> Much appreciated, Gwen. Of course. Well, pray that's all I can offer. Unless you need a rudimentary medical uh, professional. Oh, that's covered. Yeah, we got that already. Know. I'm a field medic. Oh, huh. well, ever useful. Come on. Yes, and you all have a pleasant day. It was a pleasure to meet you all. You too. You believe She's me too much. Well, do. I want to. <laughs> Sit up here for a moment, please. I'm sorry, George. I'm, no, about she... to, I'm about to spread so many rumors about you and see if we get anything back. <laughs> She's pushing too fucking hard to be useful and going, I don't have anything to offer you. What else do I have to offer you? Here's this. She's pushing too much. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to be fucking useful. I don't. I, I told her she needs to earn you guys' trust because right now I don't trust her and neither do you guys. I don't have a reason not to trust her. I mean, Julio, I'm so confused. You, you look, were saying. Look, like, she like, broke my fucking heart, man. What'd you think? I think I'm, I'm just, just gonna let someone just walk all in and be around the gang that I'm a part of? No. No, 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 no. Listen, let me finish. That's not the part we're the, confused about. What's confusing is out by Emerald, you said you didn't want to bring this woman into a dangerous world where she could get accused of being a criminal and all this kind of stuff. And then we arrived here, and the first thing out of your mouth was threatening to kill her if she betrayed you or something. It was, like, it was very, uh, it was very contrasting, you know. I'm very lost. You either want to kill her or you want to protect her. Which one is it? <clears throat> My vote was hate fucking. That was what was on the cards over there. <laughs> <clears throat> Why do you guys always have to? <laughs> God damn it! Um, oh, but on a more serious God. note, though. I don't know why she keeps offering shit. She doesn't need to be fucking helpful. She's not going it's... to be helpful. She doesn't need to offer shit. Yeah. She's pushing too much and she comes across as very fucking manipulative. Especially... <clears throat> especially pushing the fucking tonics. Oh no, I straight up told her no. Yeah, and after you told her no, we came over, she kept pushing them. Going, oh, well maybe you need to buy them from somebody you trust. Don't. Doesn't fucking matter. We said no. We said we have a rule. She comes across as manipulative, trying to be useful, and offering things when we don't need help from her. <clears throat> so unless she gets us useful information to me, she's not fucking useful, and I don't fucking trust her. That's fair. <clears throat> and I literally told her she's gonna have to earn you guys' trust, because right now, where it stands, you guys don't trust her. And I, mean, I don't does, trust her but either. Hathaway trusts people till he doesn't. That's how it is. Otherwise, how are you ever gonna meet people that you can put your trust in? Oh, and the whole thing of if she betrayed me, I will kill her. That shit does stand. I I believe it. It's just it was just one hell of a contrast to what you last said about her. That's all. It was. I've warned her already. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Goodness. Also, and there goes uh, his cigarette. Every interaction I've had with her, she's been rude and short with me, and just was not good. <clears throat> I don't like her, I don't trust her, and I'm going to continue to be a bitch to her. Until she gives me a reason to not be. Oh my god, am I the Harry of the Bond? The who? Harry from Dead End is extremely- Oh, well, she's not part of Dead End, she's like in Van Horn, but she, um... 
as she doesn't trust anybody, it takes her a very long time to warm up to people like Harry just warmed up to me. Barely. In Van Horn, she still doesn't fully trust me. Actually, I think she might be okay with me now, but... It, it... There you go. That's two months that it took her to, I mean, like, warm up to me to the point she's at now. Well, I feel like the people that you don't really trust, you have valid reasons to not trust. I don't know. I mean, she came off as very, like what you said, like manipulative in trying to get into, I, I guess, if that makes sense. She's, yeah, she's pushing where she doesn't fucking belong. Yeah, I don't know. Being manipulative and pushing isn't how you wouldn't trust. Being fucking trustworthy is. I'm gonna see if Tip is okay. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy. Are you okay? Sorry, I'm being a bitch to me. Pardon? I said sorry, and then I said I'm kind of being a bitch tonight. Ah, uh, you're fine. I am okay. Did you hear what I said earlier when I was talking to Julio? That um, I had run into Rami. Oh yeah, you said you ran into him. And he, he was afraid you were going to shoot him. He asked me if I was going to shoot him. Oh. And I said, should I? Oh. What did he say? <laughs> he said, well... The last time I saw you, you did. And I said, you're right. But I guess it didn't really mean much, did it? <laughs> Something like that. Fair enough. It's not true. We've seen each other plenty. I just, uh... Yeah. Oh, he's awake. <clears throat> Makes sense. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. It's just, it's just awake now, so I gotta go clone him in again. The fuck's happening now? Uh, oh, we're talking about just... oh, who Julio's gonna hate fucker later. Oh, and I still think she's very fucking no. manipulative. No, that's actually not gonna happen. I don't think. So what did you take away out of that pathway? I, uh, it felt very odd and quite frankly awkward. I'm not going to sure code it. Sorry if I, I made it awkward. Like I didn't like it when I first met her. He, uh, she seems like the kind of person, you know, and she said it herself. She, she doesn't have many friends. I feel bad for people like that. I'm not just going to straight up say I don't like her. I don't like her. <laughs> it seems fine, Julio. Uh, whatever you got going on with her, it's all good. But that was kind of an awkward opening to a conversation. We all had to walk away for a bit so you could have it out. <laughs> mm. But I mean, you got whatever you got going on with her. It's up to you how much of uh, your life you share with her, so... Just don't give her any information about the bond. He knows I that. He's I don't a... give any information. I'd rather fucking die. No. That might be too far, you know? I mean, if, uh, I if, a little bit of if, if a little bit of information might save your life, I mean, I'm okay with it. I don't care that much. Save your fucking life. No. I don't know. It was just a bit strange. She's, August uh, does not like her at all. She's she trying very flags. hard to... She raises a lot of red flags. I agree. I don't need her to offer anything to us. 
No. She's nothing. She doesn't need to be helped. She can fuck right off for all I can. God damn. What did she do to you? <clears throat> I don't like her, and I don't trust her. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> My god. That's... I mean... <laughs> god damn. Alright. The manipulator? Oh my god. With August? Yeah. It, it's August does not like her. <clears throat> Are we ready? I'm ready. Where are we going, sweetheart? I have no idea. I'm trying to get over what you said, I gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check Cumberland, I guess, for any of your Okay. Jobs. Yeah, sure. She can fuck right off. <laughs> God damn it. This was kind of funny, though. Uh, it's funny, but it shouldn't be. My God, Julio's got a lady he likes, and you're just fucking shit yeah, all over. Yeah, it's too late. He likes ladies he likes. <laughs> I'm still bad on Ari. At least pretend to be a little bit. I don't give a about fuck his... who he's with, I just don't like her. <laughs> God, you're gonna break the man's heart. Sounds like Gwen already did. That's true, he did actually say that. <laughs> I, did, I did recall hearing that and then I had a fucking headache again. Yeah. Oh, by the way, my plan tomorrow is to just fuck off and be on my own because I feel so bad you guys having to fucking repeat yourselves or wait for me to wake up from a goddamn headache. Not over. happening, oh, sweetheart. Sorry. Look, it's a pain in the ass and it's driving me mad. It's putting me in a bad mood and I don't want you to deal with me being in a bad mood from something that is nothing to do with you. You're not fucking off and being by yourself tomorrow. I can just go do some work. Hathaway, what happens if I get grabbed while you're fucking off and being by yourself tomorrow? How are you gonna feel, huh? Just, I gotta be honest, that, that, that might happen while I'm fucking passed out because of another goddamn headache. That? You see that? The, the middle one? That's a pretty damn good one. Um, but also we are too wanted to do Shine Run. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. But George, I mean, if you want to go Shine Run, you're good too. That's not terrible. That's one of the good good ones. Like anything above 30 is pretty good. I think I mm -hmm. am... Get I do Sue, return. please. Because he can help you figure out your head issue. Yeah, yeah, I will try. Um... Uh, it, needs, it needs to be figured out before Wednesday, otherwise I can't go on that job. It's just not going to just, just send them, send them, you know, one of those, like, real quick telegrams. <clears throat> and get hold of them. We'll give it a go. Oh, you mean, like, right now? Well, I, I don't know. I just... What are we doing? I don't know, I'm, I'm... We don't know. We I'm don't know what he keeps crashing. Tests, uh, okay, I mean, yeah, I you could, do it, you but... do it. I'll take the reins, come on. Okay. <laughs> um, hey, would y'all mind if we ran to Emerald? Easy? Yeah, sure. Not a problem. Yeah, I want to look for one of those good shine jobs. And Nitro. Or do we want to... Maybe start at Thieves, go to Manzanita, then come back out this uh, way? I mean, we already started this way, so might as well go here to Emerald. We have no idea why he keeps crashing. Um, has something to do with the new PC? It might be his GPU. But all we have are guesses right now. Um, what are you getting? I'm 
something, but... No, no. So the, when we talk about the headaches, it's just the in-character term we use for whenever he crashes. So that's like why he disappears. Um, because his entire game crashes. So... It's been super, super frustrating for him. Um, but we just phrase it as headaches to explain, like, you know, the disappearance and stuff like that. So. Of course. And I know it gets a little confusing when we use, like, certain terminology to explain things in character. But... I feel bad for Castamere. Because I know I get, like, weird graphic issues every once in a while. Um, and I get my own head issues that, like, I say head issues. I get my own, like, weird issues that piss me off. And those get really fucking frustrating. And I remember the, like, two days where it was happening to me just as constantly. Um, actually less. I was, I was getting so fed up I wanted to just log off of Red M altogether. So I can only imagine, like, how frustrated he is with how often it happens. Hello, young sprout, how are you doing? It was lovely to see Sunday today. I always love seeing Sunday. And I'm so glad Sunday went for the idea that we pitched her. Cause that was a whole, like we had a whole like 10 minute conversation about specifically how to pitch it to Sunday so that she didn't think we were trying to like take over what she was doing. Like that was August's biggest thing of like, we need to make sure she knows like it's still her doing her thing. She's not working for us. We're not taking anything over. We just want her to work alongside us and like partner with us. That was, that was August's like biggest thing of like how they were going to talk to Sunday about it. Yeah, August loves Sunday. And I hope you had a lovely day in RP. I yeah, saw so you're streaming. I hope you had a good stream. We just had a very uncomfortable and awkward encounter with with some Holio's lady friend where we all had to walk away because it was just they were just going at it. Just fighting. And it was just so uncomfortable. It was so fucking funny though. Oh, my throat hurts. But I've been streaming for six hours. I've been on for oh. I've been on f since like nine this morning, ten this morning. So I've been on for fourteen hours. Was really Everything uh, good with hours. tips. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Hanging around the edge of the rock when I woke oh, up. Oh yeah, no, she's good. She's good. She was just taking a second. Oh okay. Uh, it's I just I marathon my days. My crap, George. Is it? Yeah, I don't. I on it honestly, I just have no fucking clue what is wrong. With it's my I'm life. used to it and though, I, cause I do I do freelance work, so maybe take a nap. I make my own schedule. Oh my god! Oh, that's... What? Uh, no, I thought it was good, but it was only three stops. Yeah, it's it's a you know it's a it's a time. It's a little bit of a struggle bus, but it's fine. I like I like making my own schedule. I am um, chronically ill and disabled, so. I need remote work where I can make my own schedule. Um, I get your wagon sorted first. Makes it just bring your wagon makes it so much easier for me to like right keep out, a consistent, straight. consistently work. If you're uh, if you're gonna do shine though, George, probably um, 
we'll probably reach out to you later or something and yeah it's only three yeah. stops so if you it's it's a time i mean if you want to save um, an area i have chronic fatigue so like uh i mean me being awake this want. long is it, it is only three stops so it's not gonna take as long no no it might take you you don't know where the stops are yet though right so it might take you like a 20 minute ride away or some shit so yeah all right, just send uh, us a send us a telegram as soon as you're done we'll meet you wherever Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see well, you speaking later. of, okay. I have to take the reins. See you soon. I mean, we could go with him if you all want to. I just uh, I figured you didn't want to ride along on um, shine runs right now and could risk no, getting caught. It's, it's fine. I do want to do go on a shine run. So if you guys want to go, I'm not going. No, I'm fine. August was such a bitch to her. I'd rather not go on the run. Our lady friend. Like that. Oh. Yeah, fair enough. I keep looking for that drone. Yeah, I don't mind. Is there, is there something to do, to be honest? Let's check the mine. This is probably the rest of the stream is probably going to be uneven fall and juicy. Yeah, August was such a bitch. Uh, she straight up told her. She like flat out told her. She's like, I don't like you and I don't trust you. Um, so the first couple times August met her, she was just kind of a bitch to her. Just rude, impolite, very short with her, like very like i'm better than you um very is very clearly full of herself cool fine august is like whatever you know like i you know this bitch is gonna do whatever like, good luck george with her. that's fine um and then she apparently has been pushing julio and pushing him and pushing him and pushing him Never fails. and pushing to meet the gang yep wants to meet the gang julio's in which already raises red flags for august um, August doesn't like that. She's like, that, that's super fucking sus to me. I, well, I can tell you one thing, Hathaway, August. Don't like that. That <laughs> ship probably sunk at that very moment. Don't take me not like I'm, there's a reason you shouldn't do it. It's, you know, your private relationship. You do what you want. I know, um, but I have this very strong feeling that I might not ever see her again. Uh, and then, yeah, so she's been pushing to meet the gang for whatever fucking reason, right? And oh, that our telegram. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, a whole lot of things written there that I don't understand. Uh, do you need me to help you with that later? <clears throat> yes, please. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, so he doesn't understand tech stuff, so I have to help him with it. Um, can you take the reins for a little bit longer, please? I can, but I'm going to sit for about one minute without doing anything. That's fine. Um... Uh, yeah, so that, and then when they did meet, she had this whole thing of, like, I can give you guys information, I can be useful, which is, like, okay, you don't fucking know us, why, like, what, okay, and she had this whole talk of, like, oh, you're being, like, you have disdain for me, and I was like, I just don't like you, I don't trust you, like, I'm just a bitch, I do not trust you, um, and it, it very much... Then they started having it out, having like this weird argument. So we like gave them space and then came back when they were done. Guys? <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna sit here for a minute. Okay. Um, and then she's apparently like trying to push these tonics on us. She's like, you know, he's like, oh yeah, she said, like, she goes, oh, I make tonics. And Julio's already told me no that we don't do tonics. Please, uh, 
we do not do tonics. Don't care who you trust, where you get them from, doesn't fucking matter. We don't do tonics. Um, if you bring a tonic on a job, you're off the job and you're never going on any jobs again, kind of thing. Because we had one person bring a tonic on a job and he fell off the horse every, like, two minutes uh, while we were running away from the law. So, it, it very much was, like, we just don't do tonics at all. And there's too much can go wrong with that. And she kept pushing it when he said no. And so Hathaway had to be like, you know, we don't do tonics. We had a guy on a job. Like, here's here's the reason why we don't do tonics. She goes, well, you know, if you get it from somebody you trust. So August goes, it doesn't fucking matter. The who you get it from, how much you trust it, whether you make it yourself. We do not do tonics. If you bring a tonic on a job, you are off the job. Like, we just do not- that's a rule. We do not do tonics. Um, and so finally she backed off when August just started being a bitch to her again. And then, she's like, well, I don't have anything else to offer you. And it's like, why are you trying to push yourself into, like, anything? Like, insert yourself a little bit? And she came across very manipulative. Um, and August didn't like that. And so, Hathaway goes, well, you know- you were told you told Julia you gave us information. She's like, yeah, I'm in a bar. I hear all. And we're like, okay. Uh, August goes, give us some information. Give us an example. She goes, I don't know, like, who your friends with, okay, what you know. And August sorry. goes, okay. I'm okay. I was Have you heard anything about us? Telegram from Sue. See, mm -hmm. my headaches might be very much similar to the problem he had. So. Uh, yeah. Um, you and I can work through those later if you like. Yeah, yeah. It's, um... If I can't figure it out, there's just a lot just in here. Adding, I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, like there's oh, a lot of these, in. these positions he says me into that I just don't think I could do on my own. If you could help me get into those yes, positions, yes, I'll help you get into any position that we have you get into. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That just sounds fucking dirty. I hope you know that. <laughs> That's why it's I said supposed the way to, I Julia. Did. It was supposed to. <laughs> um. Anyway. If you were trying to make me laugh, it worked. Uh, <laughs> I just don't fine. think I've ever got my leg by his all. I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> I'm such a little fucking shit. Um. Yeah. So it was this whole thing, and so August goes, "Okay, have you heard anything about us?" You know? yeah. And your headaches. <laughs> and his accent. Um, well, did you guys hear how I was laughing? And yes, she yes, goes, no, did. I haven't heard anything about you guys, <laughs> except for like you know Julio. Are you were about to murder. And so me. we're like, okay, have you heard anything about this? And you know, she's like, it, basically not giving us any information. It's all like touting information. It's useless. Loud, evil loud. And Coming from Julio, definitely not then suspicious. Hathaway mm. comes back from like a headache mm. from when he crashed, and he definitely goes, "Have you heard anything about August?" And then she goes, "Yeah, I've heard August." New pulls on Julio. What? Oh, okay, we'll talk Nothing. about it later. Yeah. Um. What? And. Great. Lovely. We'll talk, we'll talk about what later? Uh, new pools on Julio. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, what is it? Yeah. And so she was, oh, yeah, you know, I've heard, but like, I, I presume it's just old acquaintances. And August is I mean, like. Didn't we already do it. I mean, I just. <laughs> Yeah, but it's fun to mess with them. It really is. Um, and August is like, you don't oh know my me. God. You don't know who my old acquaintances are, or you don't know who I'm friends with, or like not Sue's friends with. So how about you just right give now, me the names? Um, and she's like, oh, sorry, I didn't I? mean to make assumptions. And it's like, but you are making assumptions. So that just kind of gave August more reason not to like him because she was assuming. So, yeah, it was it was very much of like, you say you're gonna be useful, you say you're gonna give us information, but you have nothing to give us. Um, so we go okay, and because August right now, somebody wants to grab August, and we're we're assuming it's you know who it is. Um, okay, I'm gonna let you check it too. Uh, right, yeah, it's fine. Head again for a second. Uh, so we're we're like guessing it is who it is, and uh, the thing with that is, you know, she's like, oh, you know, I'll let you know, blah, blah, blah. And August goes, okay, if you hear my name, I need to know what the conversation is, and I need to know who's talking. She goes, you need to let me know, like, telegram me with this. She goes, okay, I will let you know. And August goes, 
Okay, are you ready for my telegram? Because you kind of need my telegram in order to tell me. She goes, oh, yeah. So, August does not, does not like her at all. <laughs> and has many valid reasons, too. Alright, you gonna hop up so you are. Um, so yeah. But that's why. <laughs> uh, tall trees one next. Ready? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, August overall does not like her. She thinks she's manipulative. She thinks she's pushy. Uh, and she thinks she has some ulterior motives, and that something sus is going on. Yep, that's a dead that's horse. A dead horse. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. August was just straight up a bitch to her today. So, yeah, August was just straight up a bitch to her. Which I hate- oh, see, I hate doing. I- I hate being mean to people, I hate being a bitch. I- I just can't. Um, it is very difficult for me. <laughs> I am an idiot, we're going this way. Hold on, actually. Just kidding, we are going this way. <laughs> um... Sorry, I'm I'm very distracted by my thoughts right now. It's fine. And so just you know, kind of kind of thinking out loud, quite a bit at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah. So I hate being a bitch. Like, oh, see, it's I I just hate it. But it's it's just so good when I get a chance to do it in character. Yeah, like I can be a bitch. Um, but somebody has to like really piss me off for it. So, it's, it's always interesting when one of my characters has to be a bitch, because it's... <clears throat> I need water. Hold on. My throat's so dry, I'm about to get a dehydration cough. It's always interesting when one of my characters has to be a bitch. It's like I feel bad, but it just ends up being such good scenes sometimes. I have a clip <clears throat> of my old main completely telling somebody off. Um, she ended up in the middle of a shootout. Where she was friends with both sides, so neither side shot her, obviously. And they were in the medical center. Cause they, they were in Sandy Hospital, so they brought the people there that they shot. Uh, my old crim told them off, got them to- Cause they were gonna deliver them to law, cause some of them had bounties. Um. Got them to fuck off from the hospital. Not bring them to law. And like, basically leave with their tail tucked between their legs. Um, but also my character was the type where like, if she told you off, if she yelled at you, you fucked up. Because she was very slow to anger. So it definitely... Definitely is interesting. Um, August is a little bit quicker to anger. So I, I do struggle with that a little bit. But I'm... I think getting better with that. Of kind of being able to do that. So it... It, it works, I think. <coughs>
Yeah, I think he's going through DMs about what his crashing issue is. He's saying it's very similar to the one Blue Bonnet's getting or used to get. So. We will see if it helps him. Um, he's not great with tech stuff, so I'll probably end up in a call with him later. Or tomorrow morning to fix it to help him. So. Which I kind of figured. That I'd end up having to help him. So I swear away there's anything. Yeah, it's I know whenever I have my weird issues, it makes me want to just log off Red M altogether. Cause there was one night where we got arrested and it was quite literally like every two minutes. Every two to five minutes. The entire way to, it took us like an hour to get to fucking Sisica. Because I kept crashing. It was so bad. It was it was just I just wanted to give up. Um and I almost did. I remember it was, uh, it was like Manius, August Grey. It was mostly Manius and August Grey. They were taking us to, like, they did a transport, but they were taking us on the boat. And I remember at one point, Greymore, like, I was DMing Greymore, just ranting about it because I was just so pissed. Um... And he had to convince me to log back in at one point. I was like, I'm just, I'm just fucking done. Like, I'll contact a deputy tomorrow when I get this fixed and just get myself sent to Siska. Um, and he ended up convincing me to... I think I fell asleep on the back of your horse for a minute. Oh, it's okay. Uh, he ended up convincing me to log back in and give it another shot, which I crashed like three more fucking times, but... Uh, there was one point where I just we got back on shore because it, it was a very short Sisica stint because of all our time. What time did we wake up today? Um, about 14 hours ago. My God. 14, 15 hours ago. Um. I wonder I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, we spent like a minute in Sisica, and. So as soon as we got back on shore, uh, I crashed again, and I just told everybody, I was like, I'm not, I'm not logging back in. Like, I just, I just couldn't. <clears throat> uh, do you want to head off to bed? Lay our heads down. It is pretty late. We're not usually up this late. No, we are not. Not recently. Yeah, we kind of figure. broke our schedule again already. Not really, no. It, it, we're not too bad yet. I'd say another hour and we broke it. Um, if you want to lay our heads down, we can. We can, uh, we can go check this board first, if you want. Okay, where do you want to lay our heads down? Um... Jessica? Okay, yes, but where do we want, where do we want to lay our heads down? The one spot that we referred to it as Sisic. Oh, oh, you want to go all the way out there? Okay, we can. Yeah, why not? Spend our night yeah. with a positive, maybe. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll go chuff five hundred dollars on the craps table and then go to the house until they bring us the money. Sounds good to me. All right. We'll either go to bed really happy because we got shitloads of money, or we'll be really angry and we'll do a Julio and Gwen night. I mean, I can't either <laughs> one. All right. <laughs> Good lord. Just telegram George, though, and let him know that we've gone to bed. It will telegram from Armadillo. Since we're going there anyway. Yeah. 
Let's tell Tibbs and William. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, we are gonna go to Armadillo and lay our heads down. Alright. Oh, an Armadillo? Yeah, there's a specific house we like to sleep in out there. Okay, All that's right. fine. Okay. Have we just we fun. both realized uh it's really late and we've both been awake for about fifteen hours, so uh, like walking around outside of, you know, bed for fifteen hours. Mm -hmm. Uh and we're both getting a little yeah. sleepy. So we're probably gonna go okay. throw some money on a craft table and go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Alright. But uh You're gonna be around tomorrow? Yeah. All right, then. We will likely see you tomorrow. Good luck with, uh... Can you take the reins out there? With Gwen. I highly doubt anything is gonna come from that after today. Maybe not the angry night we were expecting. Okay, um, yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> see you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of the night. We'll, um, we'll telegram George and let him know that we've headed off to bed as well. So he's gone to do his uh, shine run. Okay. Hi right, guys. Do we want to read? Good night. Good night. <laughs> Have a good night. Be safe. Uh, Menace is looking to the ground. Can you just shoot next to his head for me? Thank you. I tried to shoot him in the head, miss. Oh, thank you for missing. Uh, give me, I'm just gonna be in my thoughts for just a second. Oh, okay. Go nice and slow. Don't sprint, don't sprint, don't sprint. Go oh, nice okay. Alright, jeez. God damn it. Alright, guys, do you want to raid Billy Joe Barber? Um, there's some law streaming. We've got Olia, we've got Clementine. We can go raid Julio. Who do we want to see? Let's throw... Yeah, let's throw a raid to Julio. Um, let me... Okay. Yeah, we'll throw it right to Julio. Alright. It would help if I could type more gain stuff in. Oh, Gwen stuff. guys thank you for hanging out i appreciate everybody we're going to hopefully not die to these wolves uh yeah i will see you guys tomorrow have a lovely evening and yeah go give uh, julio some love <laughs> <laughs>